Hello there guys and gals, The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time you're getting it all in the very cutesy Calico. And this was developed by Peachy Keen Games, published by Whitethorn Games and is usually available for £9.99 but is on sale this week for £5.99 plus of course keep an eye out for any future sales. So this plays as a management simulation type where your job is to rebuild a cute little cafe full of animals and stuff and make dad monies. You need to make as much money as you can now since the cost of living has gone through the roof. Remember that cake that only cost one pound before? Well, yeah, now it's six pound, etc. <laughs> anyway, more rants on that later. For now, achievements wise are very easy and quite laid back. There are only 13 and the majority are story related, but the big ones are for talking to all 22 people, getting all 21 recipes, which is the only random generation in the game, but it's not as stressful as you think, so no worries. Doing all 46 quests and picking up all 56 animals. Again, it seems kind of daunting, but it really is a nice experience, nice and chilled, and it's an easy 1k. So you're looking at around two to three hours to get this done, depending on the recipes, random generation, but again, maybe a little bit longer. Again, I'll explain more on that in just a bit. So with that being said, then let us begin. So as we begin, then we're going to go for our favorite thing, and that's making a name up. Now, I've come up with very probably immature names in the past, so I'm going to go with a nice mature one now. Um, by the way, this name is for your character and you'll never see it again, so there we go. But I'm going for a nice Chris P. Wiener. Now that's nothing to laugh at, there are plenty of crispy wieners out there. So if you do ever happen to come across a crispy wiener, don't laugh at it. It's just a name, okay? Crispy Ween. <laughs> okay, that's funnier. But still, never laugh at a crispy wiener, right? Okay. So with that one done, you can do a name. Now we're going to do a... Uh, um, Character customization, so you can do body and uh, clothes and all types of crud. I'm just going for a, a plain Jane Smurf or something. Who knows? Anyway, little bit as soon as we begin the game, then after you've done all that, we are going to see basically the map. Now, there are a couple of areas in the game that we're going to unlock later on as well, and the map may seem quite big and daunting once again at first, but actually, it's not. You'll know where you're going after a couple of, uh, you know, after a couple of times going through the villages and stuff. You'll know exactly where you're going, so it's not too bad. But here is the cafe, and uh, well, yeah, let's do it, shall we? Yeah. Right. So a few things to run you by. Then you can skip. You can smash through the dolly with the A button, or you can press the B button to just skip through it. Be careful when you do that, because if you press the B button too many times, you may actually skip. Uh, one of the di you know one of the uh, dialogue answers so uh, just be careful with smashing the B button too many times left stick to move here of course so this is the cafe this is what we'll be uh, doing to build our stuff up so go ahead uh, have a look and speak to Kiva who is the mayor of Bumville wherever we are make sure to choose spooky here um, again the so we, we will be picking specific dialogue options and doing specific things before getting a quest so that when we get the quest to do stuff we can actually just turn that quest straight in so uh, if you press up on the d-pad you will see the townsfolk the animal and the quests that uh, you will have unlocked by like I said earlier when you pick up different animals they'll all be here when you talk to different townsfolk they will be there as well so that's just pressing up on the d-pad now press the select button, I'm always going to call it the select button, that is to go into your inventory, press the A button there on the spooky set, and then just whap out a couple of these spooky chairs. Again, this is all for quests, so we're not going to deviate off the path too much and do random things, unless you want to, of course, it's completely up to you. But what we are going to do is just do the quests, and do the game, go to bed, get a thousand Gs, and you know, enjoy life. Uh, not even sure they have to put all four down, but it's worth doing. Just ch chuck them. Chuck them anyway. And then when this is done, uh, what you can do is just press the Y button to go back to human form and then go and speak to Kiva Kiva. Shakiva Shakiva. So again, uh, press the B button to smash the, uh, to smash the dialogue or whatever. Then we're going to press the X button here to pick up Calico. Press the left bumper to do an animal command. And you can either get him to follow you, send him to the cafe, or be free. So this time we're going to make sure that Calico follows us. So again, 
pick him up by pressing the X button, then the left bumper button for the animal command, and then choose the option to follow me and just have a little run round, make sure that he is following you. Speak to Kiva here once again. Now, a lot of these dialogue options won't matter because it'll just be, do you need something, and I've done the thing. That's it. Uh, but a couple of times, I'll let you know, of course, which ones they are. So, heading back to the cafe, going into this back room here. If you press the X button to make the food... Now, this is where the uh, random generated sort of recipes come into it. So, we'll always start off with these three. This bit's very easy and very sort of cute to do. You just have to uh, press the X button here to pick something up and then just put it in the, in the uh, bowl right here. Again, try not to do what I did and fling it pure, you know, Tom Stoltman, strongman strength style. Um, but there are basically 21 recipes to collect. Now, a lot you will get through story progression. But you will have to buy some from, and we'll see a little bit later on, uh, a woman called Estelle and a guy called Oliver. Uh, but the, the random generation comes into it. Excellent throwing butter skills, by the way. God, it should, it should be an Olympic sport. <laughs> Look at my little run. Right. Uh, sorry. But the, anyway, the random generation comes into it when you can buy things off Estelle and Oliver, but... The randomness comes in the form of what they've got in their store at the time. So you might uh, be able to pick up a recipe from Estelle. Um, and then the next time you see her, after you've gone to bed, it might not be there. So, again, you can either do this as you go along with the story. Or you can wait until the end of the game when you get the broom. Uh, but basically, the way I would do it is, if you don't have all the recipes... By the way, you get the achievement for just collecting the recipes, not making them all. Just to let you know. So what I would do is go to sleep, which is upstairs in the cafe. Go back to Estelle and Oliver. If they've got a recipe, buy it. If not, just go back to bed and then go back to them. And just keep, keep repeating that until the recipe appears. But as far as that is concerned, that is the only random uh, sort of recipe. Uh, the only random generation bit in the game is what these people buy. What, what you're buying and what they're selling. Uh, so, yeah. So, again, don't go... Obviously, you might get it quicker than me. You might get it a little bit later than me. But if I do end up getting it and you still have it, again, don't panic yourself. We can just use the broom, like I said, later on at the end of the game. Or you can just, you know, keep traveling back to the cafe. Uh, one more thing I should mention, actually. Now, a lot of the times we will be doing a sort of a lot of walking and running about. But in terms of the cafe, we are going to get a potion in just a bit that actually allows us to fast travel back to the cafe. So, you know, it saves a little bit of time there. Um, now, it's always worth doing these recipes anyway, because a lot of people will actually come in and obviously buy, you know, spend money on your, on your cafe. So, every time you get a recipe, it is worth doing some you need for quests. It's always worth doing four extra bits of money anyway. So, after you've spoken to Kiva for the last time, head down sort of to the left as you exit the cafe and just keep heading down this hill. And we're just going to stay on the path. And we're going to start grabbing a couple of new animals. So, keep heading around and you can see a new cat right here. Uh, who's this one? This one's Tiny or no, what's his name? Tiger. Tiger the cat. So, pick him up. Press the left bumper. What we're going to do for the first couple of animals is just send them to the cafe to get more people in. So that is how we do that. So, left bumper, tell him to go to the cafe and he or she or it or frying pan will go to the cafe on its own. So with that one there, you did probably just see a big giant cat in a tree. We won't be getting that to the end of the game anyway. Uh, but what we're going to do is head over here now and then basically just across the bridge. So we're going to start making our way into town ever so slightly. So do the epic avatar run of life. Just keep going straight at the crossroads. And then take a little slow down because we're looking at the wooded area here on the left hand side of us. And you're going to see another little cat running around. They're not always going to be in the same place, but they will be in this sort of similar area. So, if you see that I've just picked up uh, this dog, I forget what the name is, of course. Uh, we're going to tell him to go to the cafe again. So, left bumper, tell him to go to the cafe. Ozzy the dog. So, yeah, the animals will always be in the same sort of area. So, it might not be in the exact same place that you've just seen it, but every animal will be in the same area. So... Go uh, basically straight as you were going, and you're going to see this big uh, tree house. And this is going to be our second out of 22 people, Maya. Hello, Maya. 
my uh, my uh, crispy wiener. Right, anyway, just keep asking, can I help? Um, again, the dialogue options usually don't matter because there's always going to be one or two and it's going to be um, need anything. So keep speaking to them until you... Basically, keep speaking to them and keep asking them, do they need anything? Until they say, uh, nope, it's all good, just in case you end up missing a quest. Uh, but if you do feel like you've missed a quest, if you press up on the D-pad and then go to the Townsfolk tab, they'll have hearts next to it. Everyone will have three quests that you've got to do for them. So if you're missing a heart, you're missing a quest for that particular person. So just keep that in mind. Uh, keep heading straight and down the hill. This is the little town villagey area a wee bit. Uh, but you keep heading down the path, you know, literally bursting fire, bursting balls as you're going down. Uh, there is another little cat here on this little balcony, so make sure to pick up Char the cat. Because he's sort of charcoal, like, you know, charcoal and stuff. That's funny. You can press the B button to put them on your head as well, which will come in handy. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Press the B button to put Char on your head. This is for a quest in just a bit. And then go ahead and speak to... Oliver, who is a Meow Meow. So this is, remember what I was on about the random generation recipe? Don't worry about it for now. Um, the donut recipe is for a quest, so that will always be there. But things like Muffin and something else, Corne, I think. Um, his recipes, they will be random. So if you speak to Oliver later on in the game and he doesn't have any of those recipes, if you want, go home, go to, sl uh, go to sleep, speak to Oliver again, and his inventory will be restored, hopefully with the recipe that you need. So hopefully I've just explained that as easy as I can. But for now, we will leave that alone. We're going to jump into this rabbit hutch pen fenced off area, pick up the rabbit, tell him to go to the cafe as well. Again, we're just going to do this for the first sort of eight or nine animals or so. Jump over, Calico should still be uh, following us, but just go ahead and speak to Ash. Again, press the A or B button to smash through. Say, need anything, need anything, need anything. And again, you can pick any dialogue option you want. I normally just uh, pick the one that first comes up, which will always be the one on the left. No worries, Ash. That is some banging here, by the way. It's, I'm jealous because I don't have any. Uh, sp or barely any. So speak to Ash again. Just keep speaking to Ash. Just keep speaking to these people until... Uh, they say I don't need anything, just to make sure they've got everything down. Turn around and head down this little bit of hill, and we're going to speak to Estelle. Now this is the other one, just like Oliver with the random uh, recipe generation. So speak to him, speak to her again, and say I wanted to speak to you about something, because again, in terms of quests. People are going to want to do stuff for each other, so if you see I need to speak to you about something, that means that you're on a quest for someone else for that particular person. So get that out of the way, and then say, uh, need anything? And job done there. So I think we're all good. So what we can do then is uh, we can just press the... I'm, I'm trying to find the map, actually, and that is left on the D-pad. Yet you can probably see. Uh, you can press the right trigger here to zoom in as well. Uh, because, of course, what will happen as well, people will go on their travels. They won't just start stay by the houses. People will actually start walking around. So before we go somewhere or try and find a particular person, it's always worth pressing left on the D-pad here to get your map up, uh, zooming in and just seeing where those people are. So as you can see, Maya Kiva there is still at the cafe, which is fine. But, of course, she can either be at her house or at a community centre. So, when I say we're going to be finding someone, have a look at your map just to make sure that the person is either in the same place that mine is or if it's in a different per, uh, place to you. Just saves you a couple of seconds going here, there, and freaking everywhere. Know what I mean? Ah, you know what I mean. So, what we are going to be trying to find, then, is Maya Kiva. And so, we're going to keep the cat on our head because... Where the hell not? And then, obviously, what I am going to show you as well, if you press the select button here, <laughs> eventually, the select button, you can just see on the potions tab, there was a couple of paws or whatever it was. That is basically the fast travel potion on our way to go back to the cafe. Because uh, for some reason, I'm getting mightily confused right now. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so these people won't actually leave their houses and start walking around until you talk to them. So, don't worry about, uh, you know, finding out the... Don't worry about it, it's not random where you've got to try and find people. A lot of people will just stay in their houses until uh, you actually speak to them. So, 
You can fast travel to the cafe straight away, but what I'm going to do is actually just show you exactly where it is first. Uh, if you fancy walking there for some particular reason. Uh, but basically, all you need to do really is just follow the path. Uh, so just press left on the D-pad until you uh, know basically where you are going. And as you can see, for me, I am trying to go back to the cafe, by the way. So to make it easier, again, just press the select button, go to the potion, and um, just press the A button there to fast travel back to the cafe. That's a lot easier than what I just just trying to do. So speak to Mayor Kiva again, and again, just keep smashing through all the dialogue here. So then, we are going to make a break into town after you speak to Mayor Kiva. So again, apologies about that little bit of confusion there, guys. I was trying to show you the easiest way to get back to the cafe, and... Uh, just made it harder than it needed to be, to be honest. So, again, apologies about that. But, yeah, you can just fast travel back to the cafe straight away. So, we're just going to keep uh, following the path straight for now. And, again, this is what I mean, where it seems to be kind of daunting with the map and the size of it and stuff. But, honestly, after the, you know, within the next couple of minutes, you're going to be coming back and forth here anyway. So, you will know exactly where you're going, what you're doing, etc, etc. So just head back to here, the big white building is the town hall, the community centre, and then we've got the two little shops there with Mary Balls, no Mary Bell, sorry, and Estelle. So you can either speak to Estelle, uh, well we are going to speak to Estelle and say I did the thing, she's going to give us a couple of hundred beans they called. Flick the 300 beans, damn it's a lot of beans. Uh, go into the shop here, press the X button and we're going to buy the croissant recipe. And that leaves us with specifically zero monies, which, hey, welcome to my goddamn world. But anyway, we do need the croissant recipe. That is for another quest uh, for just a little bit. So we don't actually mind for now. But again, it's going to come to a point where you're going to start earning enough money where money won't be an issue. And isn't that nice for some people? <laughs> Bastards. Right. So, uh, we can just head up uh, sort of to the right here, and we're going to speak to Maya again now. So, from a stealth shop, head up the hill to the right slightly, and we're going to speak to Maya. Maya Pajama. So, once again, when you've exhausted all dialogue, and uh, she doesn't need anything, Press the select button to go into your inventory. There's the pause on the potions tab. Press the A button on it. That gets us to Le Café. And look at that. Just behind us, like cock magique, it is the café. Uh, but we're not actually going in there yet. But we will be using that a lot to get back there. Uh, quickly. So, at the crossroads, we're going to start turning right. And we're going to start heading down the hill. Down the hill and far away, Teletubbies come to play. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, if you're a parent of toddlers, you will know how much crap, how much kids' crap gets stuck in your head on a daily basis. So, as we are, uh, just exit the bridge there, we can see another crow called Poe. So, what we're going to do is actually get Poe to follow us. So, don't get Poe going to the cafe just yet. We are going to pick him up by pressing the X button, left bumper, and then get him to follow us. Again, this is for another mega quest later on. I say mega quest, it's sort of a quest. Uh, now, instead of keeping following the path going up, we're just going to go and follow this little bit of random wilderness. The reason is, there is a dog called Booties. It's called Boots, but for some reason it's got an E on it. Uh, but you don't want to be giving a booty call to a dog. Oh, no! Uh, if the, especially if the dog's pretty bitey, and especially if you don't mind going to jail. Anyway, in this random area, um, there will be the dog... Sorry, talking about uh, stuff which I uh, should be talking about right there. <laughs> anyway, you find Boots. Uh, oh no, I just spoke about that and that's not even the right one. Anyway, pick up the dog Boots. Uh, get him to go to the cafe. And that is another one added to the list. Remember, if you are unsure, just press up on the D-pad. Have a look at the animals tab just to make sure that he's been added into it. Otherwise, we can just start heading sort of towards the red trees. You can see this giant cat. What we need to do is go straight into the cat's butthole. Okay? It's probably normal for something that I've spoke about in a video. What you need to do, though, is get that cat... Uh, basically, just the cat's leg moving. Get his butt squeaking a bit. Um, 
And the reason we're doing that, when we get to a quest later on, it means the cat will be able to just jump straight through, rather than getting the quest, having to come here and do that, and then going all the way back. So just make sure that you've tickled his balls and tickled his butt a little bit, um, until his legs sort of moves a bit, and then you should be good to go. So from the cat, we can just follow this big left massive mountain around. We're now actually going to go up the mountain. So just follow the mountain around. There was a bit of an edit. I was getting confused about nothing. And eventually, there we go. There we can see the path again. So, so we are where we were just before we went and got boots. Um, which was just over the bridge where we got Poe, the crow, etc. So now what we can do is just start heading all the way up the mountain. It is a bit of a trek, so enjoy. So, by the way, when I'm not talking, you're going to notice that the music has gone extremely quiet. That is because I'm scared of being copyrighted. Because, um, <laughs> yeah, some yeah, some devs do it. Anyway, pick up Inkwell the bird right here as soon as we get to the top, which would be fine. And then what we can do, press the left bumper, tell him to go to the cafe as well. Uh, again, it is literally the first 10 or so animals we're going to be doing, and the rest we're just going to be picking up. So, there we go. You can see, press up on the D-pad. On the animals tab right there, Inkvel. And there we go. So, there's job done. Um, when we have done that with Inkwell, we can just head up the stairs right here. And go inside and speak to Autumn. She will be here. This is another person that we need to be speaking to. So again, as usual, just do all the same. Smash through the dialogue. Ask her if she needs anything until... Uh, she says, Nab, Autumn and Mortem. Till she says, Autumn and Mortem, apparently. And, oh, look at that. Apparently she's blind, because, bruh, we got your, we got your pussycat on our head, girl. Remember, you said, you, you pussy sat in my face, and, and now I've got it. There it is. So, uh, press the B button there, just to get him, just to get her down. And then again, press the, uh, just smash all the dialogue. Is this your char? Smash, smash, smash. And now what we need to do is actually go home and take a little nap. Which, you know what, that is my literal favourite thing to do. So I'm all up for that. So again, go into your potions. And simply fast travel to the cafe. Go in, go upstairs, press X to sleep and save the game. Also, if you press the start button, you can save the game as well right there. So don't think this is the only way you can save it. You can save it wherever, whenever. We're meant to sleep together. No, wait, that sounds creepy. Please don't arrest me, bruh. So, when we wake up, press anywhere on the left stick in order to get up. You can't be looking at the ceiling forever. We got some that monos to make, bruh. Come on. Come on. We got that monies to make. So, what we're going to do is head into the kitchen. And what we are going to do... Now... Again, like I said, you don't have to um, do every single recipe, but I find it's always worth doing, again, for the more people who come in and get you more money, plus for quests later on as well. So, whenever you do get a recipe, it is definitely worth just doing them all, just to be on the safe side as well. Um, you don't have to do them all, but like I said, it is worth doing. So, anyway, when we're going to stay in here, we're going to press the select button, go to furniture, go to rad, and then collect grab this rad partition and we're going to put it absolutely anywhere it makes no difference where you put it press the a button to place it and then the y button to get out of here as long as you've got that one rad bra partition out that means we're going to be able to turn in a quest immediately later on so we got 200 beans in our pockets to flick <laughs> Um, I, well, we just need to make some more money. So, we've again, we've got a couple of recipes. We're all good. Uh, eventually, people at random times will start coming in. So, from here, at the crossroads, we're going to go right once again. And then just head all the way up the mountain top to speak to Autumn Autumn. All the way at the top. Mate, those legs are going to be beefcake by the end of this.
So, how he goes into the fish shop or whatever, say good morning, how goes the potion? And she's gonna basically give us a potion. So sleepy, well, maybe you should get a coffee or a can of monster. Punch a couple of walls in, you'll be fine right as rain. So with that, she does actually give us a new potion, so thank you. What happened to your eye? You got a bit of a black eye there, Hans. Right. Anyway, so what we're going to do is jump down. And then from here, where we're going to go is simply back to the cafe. So, uh, I was... I thought there was another animal up here for some reason, but it is just Inkvel. So, uh, press the select button to go into your inventory and head back to the cafe. And then all we're going to do is just go upstairs. We're going to take a little sleep. You, you literally don't have to go as far as I'm going. We are literally just going back to the cafe right now. So, there we go. So, back to it. Go upstairs for a little nap. And then we're going to make our cat calico big and chunky. We're going for a big chungus type cat right now. So now that we are back downstairs, get outside, we are going to find Calico. By the way, if something appears or doesn't appear, simply just go back, sleep again, and that thing which may have been missing will reappear, okay? Just to let you know that. Go over to the potions tab by, uh, after the select button, and then choose the big small potion when you're holding Calico. And now you can mount and ride that, puss, that cat all night long. Without getting knackered, well that's good, but that will actually give us our second achievement of the game. Eventually it should pop, but that is all you do then. So with Autumn's Potion, the big small one, pick up Calico, give him the small potion, and that is one big chungus that you're going to ride a lot through the game. So, uh, wait, better get your sweat on. So anyway, here we are then, we are going back to the town centre, there's the community centre, of course, Estelle shop. And we're going to sp uh, speak to Maribel eventually as well, so what we're going to do is... Now, every time from here, what we can do is actually speak to uh, Estelle and Oliver just to see if they've got any recipes in store. Again, remember what I said earlier about the random generation thing? Every time you come back to this area, it's always worth speaking to them just to see what they've got. So, the, uh, she's got a bagel recipe, she's got a cookie recipe, um, but of course, we don't have enough money just yet. So, we're going to be doing a few more quests, but when we do get enough money, again, like I said, it's always worth just um, having a look. In Estelle's shop and Oliver's shop, just to see what they sell. Obviously, the quicker we can get the recipes, the uh, less time uh, at the end of the game that we have to mess around with. Uh, it can be kind of tricky to speak to Estelle when you're riding a giant kitty cat. So, ask Estelle if she needs anything. And then, of course, obviously, just smash through the dialogue as we've been doing. Uh, again, literally doesn't matter which one, as long as we've always asked, do we need anything? Up until the point she says, nah, bro, we good, bro, man. So, go ahead, ride that big old puss. And what we're going to do is, <laughs> we are going to just head up ever so slightly and go and speak to Ash. And again, we're just going to do the same thing. So, you can say, I wanted to talk to you about something. Or you can just say, um, do you need anything? Eventually... You know, you can't actually miss any of these dialogue options or anything anyway. So, if you do actually miss the I wanted to talk to you about something, that's fine. Just talk to her again and then ask her. That means we'll get a quest going. Uh, again, as long as you've asked her, does she need anything? Up until the point, like I said again, that she says no. And uh, that she, we want to speak to her about something. As soon as that's all done, we're good to go. So, jump down. Apparently, there are no animals that get broken legs in this game with the epic jumps. So, you know... Don't cry if you think you're going to hurt her. Speak to Estelle. Say that you did the thing. I did the thing. Well, maybe you can stop looking so blue. Nah. Meh. Anyway, so from here, we've got a thousand beans to spend now. So go up. We're going to speak to Oliver again just to see if he's got any recipes. So let's take a little look. Uh, so, of course, he still, still does have the donut recipe. Um, but we don't actually... Um, need it right now. What we do need is actually a cloud table. So, uh, this is the first part of the sort of random generation again. So, what we can do, if Oliver does not have the cloud table, or if Estelle does not have a cloud table, uh, 
So basically what we're looking for, for a quest, is looking for cloud furniture that doesn't cost more than 300 beans. Because I think there's like rugs and tables and stuff which cost about 600, but for now we're trying to go for the cheapest thing possible, which is a cloud chair. So if Estelle or Oliver don't have it, we're just going to head fast travel back to the cafe, go for a little sleep, uh, f you know, have a little count of the old flick bag bean bags, and then what you're going to do then is just head all the way back into town to see if Oliver and Est or Estelle have a cloud chair for us. So get up, head back over to town. Now remember, you might have uh, got lucky and got this one the first time. This may take you three, maybe even four or five times. So, uh, again, just keep doing this until we get the cloud table. Luckily for me, I got it on the second attempt here. And when I say second attempt, I actually meant the third attempt. Uh, <laughs> so, so, this is the second time I'm speaking to him and there is still no cloud table. So again, if this happens, just we're going to fast travel back to the cafe. And for me, it was the third time that a cloud table showed up. So just, again, keep going until you manage to snag a cheeky cloud table. I mean, you are literally riding a giant puss. You could just ram him down and grab one out of his pocket or whatever he's, um, you know, selling it and run away. But, well, it's a small it's a small town, isn't it? So you kind of know who it is. Hmm. Darling, so good to see you. Oh, have my cloud table, damn it! Have my cloud table, damn it! No, nope. well, Estelle, you're about as useless as the red light in the Grand Theft Auto games, aren't you? So, since she doesn't have what we need, we're gonna head up and speak to Oliver and hear Oliver, my man, my broski, my nib bags. My catnip bags. I knew you'd have a cloud table for me. Kind of looks like an upside down wiener, but uh, that's fine. So that's all we need is one. And again, make sure that it is only costing you 300 beanages. So when you got the cloud table, we're going to now finally go ahead and speak to Maribel. And it's the same thing as we've been doing, of course. Speak to her again. Need anything and just keep smashing through the dialogue. So if obviously you don't have a quest offer, just press A to speak to her again. Uh, again, you just got to keep going until she's like, Nah, bruh, stop talking to me now. It's start getting on stalking crazy. So, uh, as you can see there, so we do need to stalk her crazy again. Wait, no, that's that's not the right uh, set of words. Just speak to her again. And, uh, no, we're all good. So, with that, what we can do is actually head back to the cafe. And then what we're going to do is simply chuck a cloud table down anywhere, again, absolutely anywhere, it does not matter where it is. Chuck a cl cloud table down, so go into, your, uh, go into your inventory. No, this is your townspeople and animals and stuff. There we go. Go down to cloud in your furniture sets. Cloud table, and then, of course, press the A button to put it anywhere you want. Then what we're going to do is just head upstairs, and again, I always end up going up. if I'm in the cafe, I always end up going upstairs, taking a little nappy nap, one, because we're tired and we're lazy for it, but of course it always refreshes the inventory of people. So it's always worth doing that. But when we've done this, we're going to head back to the town centre, and we're going to speak to Maribel. So of course, remember, it's when you get onto the uh, straight path with the left and right cross, we're just going to go straight back down to town, speak to Maribel.
But of course, like I said, when you do speak to people for the first time, always check your map by pressing left on the D-pad, just to see and make sure that they are where they are. Because uh, of course they could always be walking about, and that would just annoy the crap out of you, wouldn't it? So, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. But anyway, speak to Maribel, say thank you very much, we did the ting man. And there we go, now we get 500 beans, god damn that's a lot for just chucking a uh, cloud table down. So what we are going to do now, I believe, we're going to speak to Estelle, eventually. I'm too lazy to get off my uh, big putty cat. Come in. Come in. I mean, it's probably worth just, you know, mounting off the cat. It'll probably be a lot easier. But um, uh, ask her what's for sale, and we're going to see what we can get. And what we are going to get is the... Ah, uh, well, she doesn't have any other recipes in store for us at the moment. So we can get out of Estelle's, and now what should we're going to do, you can probably just see a couple of bunnies running about and stuff. Now this is for Ash's quest. So uh, you can speak to Ash again if you want, but there's actually no need as long as she's already given you the quest. If not, and you don't see a bunch of bu random bunnies running about this area, speak to her just to make sure that it is all good. We've got, we need to grab all the bunnies for her. Um, yeah, so you can stop pet. We'll stop pet enough for now. So the first one is right where Oliver is, around the same area. We're going to pick up this blue bunny. What you can do again, obviously, is press the B button to stick it on your head. Go on, stick it on your head. Now, the next one is going to be on this, um, you know, this little balcony thing where we found the cat earlier on. So that'll be two that we can grab. And that is all that we can grab. No, we're not sending it to the cafe. Nay, no worries about that. What we're actually going to do is put him back in the rabbit pen. Rabbit fenced off area. There we go. So, jump in your life and... Oh, God, her elbows come out then, didn't she? Jesus. Again, press the B button and then press the X button there to drop. Right. So, where Ash is, there is the next couple of bunnies. You can see this one here. Green one, I think. I think that's green. Apologies for the colour blindness. And then straight ahead, you could probably just see in the distance there is the purple blue something colored bunny there it is so go ahead stick those two back in the pen naughty bunnies i ought to make a rabbit stew out of you with tears down every vegan's eyes as i say that sorry my am just choking rabbits are not delicious honestly wink wink right so when those two are in the pen of course i shouldn't be talking about um uh, you know delicious meats and stuff this is a cute little game so let's not do that. But we are going to ride Calico because straight where we found the previous two bunnies, this is actually Mayor Kivo's house. If you were wondering where she actually lived, not just in the cafe. The first thing we are going to do though is pick up this little raccoon here, Patches. And we are going to get him going to... Uh, we're going to get him to follow us. So when we've got the uh, raccoon to follow us, we're going to pick up the rabbit there in front of Mayor Kivo's house. Go behind the house. And there should be another one frolicking in the flowers just by this house in this set of flowers. So go ahead, picky yuppie. And there we go. That is the next two done. So just head up the hill. And of course, we're going to be putting them back in Ash's pen bag. Actually, there is the third one. So what we can do, what we're going to do with this one that we've already got on our hands. We are going to get this one to follow us. So right up this hill, in between these two houses, is the next bunny. So just make sure then that the bunny is following us, okay? Very important. If it's not following you, just make the one that is in your hand right now follow you, and then go ahead and grab the other one. So just making sure that it's following us before we head back the opposite way. There we go. This is the correct way. Uh, before we head back and put them in Ash's pen. So again, just make sure they're all following you. Now, when this game first came out, it was cut, it was rather very glitchy. Things went missing, uh, things weren't there, which is why you had to uh, potentially sleep in your bed till the next day, in real life as well as the game. And, you know, just random little bits, nothing would follow you, etc. But it should be all good to go, so when you have got the bunny to follow you, you should be good, so you can just stick both bunnies in here. Boop-a-doop. And get the final one, there we go. You can try and stick the raccoon in as well, but that'll eat them rabbits dead. Unless the bunnies will team up and be like a, you know, rabbit transformer or something. Uh, but anyway, as soon as all seven are in there, what you can do is just go ahead. 
and just speak to Ash in order to finish the quest and life is good. By the way, if you press right on your D-pad, you will, you will see the quests and you can actually tag them. Um, so if you have any quests that you need to pick up a certain amount of animals and put them in places, um, you can just press right near quest. Have a look at that. Uh, just to make sure that you are on track with it. Right, so head down this path. You can just see Mayor Kiva's house uh, just in the top left. But this is the house we're going with, the one with the big flower on it right in front of us. This is Lily and Poppy's house. You think, you th you, this sounds like a bit of a Libyan couple, but Poppy's a man. And that's a hell of a manly name. So, speak to Lily first anyway. We're going to ask her what's for sale. Make sure to grab the cheapest flower, whatever it is possible. So, she's got a flower chair. So, for us, that's going to cost us 100 beans. That's fine. That's all we're going to be grabbing. Um, if she's got like a garden table or a garden, uh, a, a flower garden flower table, flower something else, then you can obviously buy that as well. Uh, just make sure it is a flower something. So for me, again, it was a flower chair. And as you can see, somebody's just been in my cafe, spent 300 quid on a cake. Fuming me! <laughs> oh well, the richer they come. That is what inflation's all about. So thank you, UK British government, for bending us over without lube. Much appreciated, Boris, you big pinus. Right, so after you speak to Lily and get her quest going, again, by asking her, do you need anything, speak to Poppy. And again, just ask uh, what's for sale, if you so wish. I think they'll probably have the same thing as Lily, so it makes no difference. Uh, so just keep asking Poppy, do you need anything? Do you need anything? Why, with a man such as bald and beardly fantastic as you have a name called Poppy? That just sounds like, uh, you know, the LBGTQ plus cucumber couple down the road. But, uh, you know, I'm sorry. It's just a joke. Please don't crucify me. Please don't cancel me. So, yeah, just keep speaking again. Just keep speaking to Poppy anyway. As usual, until we can no longer speak or Poppy doesn't need a ting. But because we've already done one of the quests there with Lily, what we can do is speak to Poppy again and say, I did the thing. So after you, um, you obviously ask about uh, how we met her daughter, then we can say, we did the thing, mate. And that is another quest completo for Poppy the Bald Legend. Right, so from here then, what we're going to do is grab a few animals and speak to a few new people. So straight in front of us here is the next cat that we're going to pick up, Chompy or Chompers or whatever your bloody name was. Uh, Chompy, there we go, so just make sure, again, because we're not going to send them to the cafe or anything like that anymore, just make sure uh, that they are in the book of life. Then we can head up to the hill, in between the two houses where we found the bunny earlier on, and pick up Pudgems. We're going to call them Fudgem. Well, Fudgem. Um, just to make sure that you got that one there. So again, if you if you ever get a bit paranoid, just press up on the D-pad there to make sure that they are in the book of life. But that should be Chubby the cat and Pudgeons the dog before we go ahead and speak to Sunny here. And as usual, it is the normal thing that we'd be doing. Uh, just keep asking her if she needs anything until she says, Nah, get, get it. And then from here, what we can do is keep following the path around to the next house where we're going to speak to Blossom, and then you're going to do the exact same thing. So, ask away, ask away. Need anything, need anything, need anything. You need my number, girl? Die! No, because I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba die. I'm dabba dee dabba blue. So after all the dialogue is done with uh, Blossom right there, what we can do is just head back to the cafe. Again, inventory, uh, press the pour potion right there to head straight back. And we're just going to put up a few cheeky little uh, squeaky cheeky couple of things right now. So first things first, go into your inventory then and go... Uh, we're going to go up to flower and put a flower chair down. Remember, that's the one we bought from Lily earlier on. So put a flower chair down. And we should also have... If we go back into it, we can place that and we can just go back into it. Uh, we should have now a couple of flower tables and a flower wall deco. So we're going to place the flower wall decoration. Uh, again, anywhere you particularly want makes not a lick of a butt of difference. There we go. So when the flower wall deco is down and the flower chair, what we can do is go to succulent. We're going to put a succulent, succulent Chinese meal down. 
Uh, no, we are going to put a succulent table down. And when those three are down, we should now be able to go. Um, so press the white button there just to get back into Xiaoman form. Raccoon and the bird were inside each other there, which is... Uh, well, that'd be a wicked bit of hybridness, wouldn't it? So after this is done, again, because I'm in the cafe, what I'm going to do is just quickly go ahead and take a nap. So all of the um, items in Estelle and Oliver's inventory are nice and refreshed in order for us to get some more stuff. Because I think at this point now, because we're starting to really earn the money, we can now actually start uh, beginning to buy all the recipes that we can. Because of course some of them cost 800 etc. But now we've got almost three grand's worth of beans. We can actually start making the... Um, we can start getting the recipe achievement sort of in order. One thing, when you do fall asleep, uh, when you do go to sleep, and if there is somebody already in the cafe, when you go to sleep, they will actually leave the next day. Apart from Oliver, I think. I don't know if they, uh, I don't know if that was just a glitch. It didn't happen for me at all in the game. Oliver never f visited my cafe in the game, so I can't actually tell. But before, if Oliver was sitting in the cafe, you could literally just go up, sleep, have a look at his inventory, go up and sleep, go have a look at his inventory because he wouldn't leave. So, again, if he goes into your cafe, just go there. If not, again, don't worry because it's still very easy enough. So here we are then at Sunwa's and Blosswa's house again. And if you can't find them, they are going to be usually taking a little... They're either going to be in a cafe or around the back here, doing a little bit of gardening. So you speak to Sunny first and say, Yo, man, I did the thing. I want my monies. There we go. One fitty. Nice. Now, again, obviously, I've only got three grand at the minute because people have bought crap from my cafe. You know, the epic diarrhea cakes and the uh, special brownies and all. Um, so, again, if you don't have as much money, you know, don't worry about it because you'll get a crap ton later on. So after you've spoken to uh, Sunny right there, you need to turn around and we're going to speak to Big Blossom Pants. And again, just do the same thing. I did da ting. So of course, that is of course because we've put up all the decorations and everything. Right, Blossom doesn't need anything. That's fine. And again, any bit of dialogue option here, we're going to smash through or whatever. Now then, let us get some recipes going. So straight ahead, we're going to go to Estelle. Now Estelle has one of the rarest ones, and it is a cake. Luckily for me, she already had the cake recipe there, so I got very lucky with this one. Uh, so we, uh, we're we going to buy the bagel anyway, it's only 100 bean bags. But as you can see, she's got a cookie recipe and the cake recipe. So apparently the cake recipe is a harder one to come by. So, obviously, if it's not here for you yet, again, don't panic, because you can either, you know, every time we go past the still, you can just keep having a look, or you can go back, go to sleep, and then come back until you get it, and then buy the cookie recipe as well. So, again, so I've got the cake recipe, the cookie, and the bagel there. The bagel and the cake, sh the cookie should already be in there. Go up and speak to Oliver, just to see what he's got. So, the donut recipe will always have as well, because that's a request, so we're going to buy that as well. Um, and then just again, just have a look, just take a little see, uh, see we've got the cream, cream puff pear recipe as well. So we did, did get a couple of recipes there. Again, you will get different ones to me at that point. And again, don't panic. You can literally just leave it until the end of the game. Uh, if you don't want to just keep running back and forth to the cafe, because as I said, the broom at the end of the game makes you fly everywhere quick as hell. So anyway, when we have whatever recipes we've got from Estelle and Oliver, now I've gone back and I've actually, I do actually go ahead just in terms of getting all the money in and uh, any quests, related items that we need, etc. So I actually do come back here and smash through all of the, uh, make all of the recipes. Oh, look at that boy! Sugar and flour man, what a shot! I should be in the Olympiok 6. Um, yeah. So anyway, that did take me roughly around 6 or 7 minutes to do. Uh, again, very, very easy, but I always do it. Things are made, we'll get more money, life becomes a lot easier anyway a little bit later on. So it's definitely worth doing, but once you've smashed all these in, again, even if you don't do them all for now, you can just do one or two. You can, it's literally up to you whenever you want to do them. Um, but I thought saves you watching me for the next 10 minutes just put crap into a pot or whatever that is 
Uh, I just sort of smashed it all down as once. So when we've grabbed the final straw bra to make the... What the hell is this? It looks like... Genuinely looks like pig's testicles right there. Which I'm all up for. You don't have to get me on, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here to eat, uh, you know, cow's tongue and pig's testicles and stuff. I'll eat that shit for free, man. So, when we are done here, we can now head back out of the cafe. Again, take a sleep. Make sure to take a sleep if you didn't manage to get any of the recipes and anything. Take a sleep upstairs in the cafe so that Estelle's and Oliver's uh, inventory have been refreshed. And you'll get lucky the next time. But for now, what we're going to do, uh, at the crossroads, we're going to keep going straight and then where we're actually heading then is we're going to nip off right here and go and speak to Sunny and Blossom again. And we're actually going to be speaking to Blossom because she needs them sweet rolls, yo. And we've already made them sweet rolls, yo. So, take a grow, make a blow, hippity happity ho. Up the house, here we go. Speak to Blossom and let her know. You know, like I said, there may be a couple of times you have to keep repeating and pressing the A button there, um, just in case you accidentally go off the dialogue or whatever. Uh, so just be aware of that one. Go ahead and speak to Mary Bell. If you want, of course, speak to Estelle and Oliver while you're here, if you've um, turned it into a new day, just to see what recipes they've got. Um, otherwise, we are going to speak to Mary Bell, and we're going to ask her what in the heck has been going on. And she basically wants us to ravage some pigeons, chuck her in the same pot as the rabbit, so we can make a pigeon-rabbit stew. Uh, uh, sorry, I mean, uh, we just need to capture some, that's all. <laughs> so the first one is going to be just on top of the hill by... And, and this is what I mean, by the way, if you press right in the D-pad, you can press whichever quest you want to be available. So you can see how many that you've picked up or dropped off or whatever when there is a numbered one. So, up on the hill by Blossom's house, uh, we're going to have this first fancy pigeon. So pick up Broski right here. And then you can just drop him again, makes no difference. Head back down the hill, the second one will be floating around in front of Oliver, Maribel, whoever here. So again, that'll be the second one complete. The third one is not going to be up the hill, it's only going to be one up here. Uh, but basically, the, the three now are just behind where Oliver's bin basically was. So, there's two of them then. So, they will literally just be crowding around this sort of area. So, behind the shops. Uh, so, that'll be the, the, the four out of five. Uh, there will be another one in here as well, in the rabbit pen. Always will be here, one here in the rabbit pen. And there is the last one. So if you're wondering where they are, just circle around this sort of community center and the, the couple of shops and everything. And you will find all five of those with nay but a bother. Yeah, like I just said, speak to Estella or Oliver, by the way, while we're here, just to see what recipes they've got. Always worth doing, just to sort of get it out of the way as quick as you can. Anyway, we speak to Maribel, we're all good. And that is that quest complete. So what we can do now is... Head back to the cafe, so get on Calico, we're going to head back to the cafe, and we're actually going to open up the new area called Snowbell Mountain, where my bell is full of white stuff. So, at the crossroads, we're going to turn left right here. <laughs> uh, you heard nothing. And what we're going to do, apparently Calico has enough big chungus in itself to just literally smash through these rocks with near but a bother, near but a problem. So, you will get the achievement. Uh, called Pathfinder for opening up the Snowbell Mountains. And there's going to be a little bit of a, another crossroad. So here is a deer. So what we're actually going to do, we're actually going to grab this deer here. He'll always be here, so never fear, my deer. Give him a spin round like a pure strongman. And then what we can do is just get back in Calico and head back to the cafe for now anyway. Um, but there is always a crossroad. So if you go up to the left, that's where you'll find a lot of the stuff where we'll be heading. And then if you went straight down, you're just going to see a bunch of cat, a construction crew cats. Um, yeah, so that is, uh, which we don't need to come back to yet. So for now, here we are back at the cafe. We're getting back on Calico. Obviously, we should still have Poe the Crow and the raccoon ferret thing. 
uh, still following us. So for now, we've just headed right to the crossroads, as you can see. We're basically heading all the way back up to Autumnicity now, at the top of this mountain. Oh, and this is where I made the mistake of... I forgot to check my map to see where Autumn was. She is actually coming back. She's just been to the cafe. So, I made that little mistake there. So, of course, as I said, every time that I say we're going to go and see someone, have a look at your map just to see if they're at your cafe, just to see if they're all around. So, we actually need to go just start heading back down the hill anyway. Uh, but if Autumn's at a shop, obviously, you just need to speak to her. If not, then we just need to go and find her. She'll be coming up now. Ah, we have found her. Well, thanks, Autumn. Made me ride my big puss a little bit more. Anyway, need anything? Just say need anything for Autumn. And she's going to give us a new quest. Again, just smash through all the dialogue. Anyone does not matter as per. So, who we are looking for now is Maya Kiva. So, she won't be at the cafe. She's either going to be at her house, which is sort of bottom right corner of the map there. Or she may be by Estelle's shop in the community centre. So, for me, she was at her own house, which is always nice. And if you remember then, we can just jump across the river right here. Uh, but she is basically just on top of the hill. More or less, on the same path as Estelle's shop. And just next to Poppy and Lily's house. So always check the map just to make sure that you're going in the right direction and go ahead, speak to her and just ask her if she needs anything and she's going to give us, yeah, t -t 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 another quest. So then, this is all to do with Patches the Raccoon, which we've had following our party for a while. So we're going to pick Patches up. And then what we're going to do is get him going to the cafe. And then just go ahead and speak to Maya Kiva again. So basically, this is more or less kind of like two quests in one. So she's going to say, <laughs> I did the thing. Apparently, she's seen Patches there, but she must be off her head. Because she ain't there, broski. Um, so she gives us a couple of things again. We're going to ask her to see uh, see something once again. But, because we've already done what it is that we need, um... So basically she just wants some one speed, one speed, <laughs> one speed, one crack cocaine. Okay. Uh, but basically all she needed there was a bunch of stuff from our kitchen, which of course we would have already made. So that means we have just smashed out two quests, easy as a cream bubbling pear. And that's my favourite can of pear. Oh. Don't know what happened there. That wasn't an edit, by the way. That was um, a, a bit of a glitch in the system. Uh, but nothing else has happened, so don't worry. What we are going to do, <laughs> we're going to head back to the cafe there, and we're actually heading up the Snowbell Mountains now. So you should have got the... Uh, obviously, we've just completed the two quests for Mayor Kiva. Um, so we're just going to head up the Snowbell Mountains and start grabbing a few more animals. Now, in terms of picking up animals and stuff, it's been kind of a slow burner for the first hour here, hasn't it? But literally, the more we go through the gate, these next couple, we're going to take a left here by the deer, up the hill. But the next bunch of animals and everything, um, the next areas are a lot shorter and a lot smaller. So, yeah, that, that comes in handy, definitely. But we're going to keep heading up for now. So. 
so few animals to pick up here. The first one is a little uh, Ginga cat. Pugsy or whatever your bloody name is. So pick up this cat. Again, we don't need to get any more to the cafe or anything like that. We're going to press the B button though to stick Pugsy or whatever it is on our head. Now there are three polar bears. Two babies and one mama. You need to pick up all three. So one is called Baby Polar. One is called Polar Baby. Very originally, fantastically named. And the last one, of course, is the Mama Bear. Mama Polar Bear. And apparently she's not going to try and kill the crap out of you, which is handy. Look at us! Look at our strength! Row, 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 row. Strong. Strong as Hank. Um, so you can either pick her up or mount it. Uh, to, either one, it will get counted in your animal thing. So turn around and you can just see a little sort of ice wolf type thing there, sort of circling the trees. So that is another one that we're going to pick up there. So pick up this broski. I think his name was Sugar or something. No, his name was Marshmallow. So there we go, Marshmallow. You can pick up Marshmallow. You can actually keep a hold of Marshmallow if you want, pr pretty much faster than the cat. So if you turn back around, go past the polar bears, and you're going to see a little house in the distance. Now if you do get confused, just have a look at the sort of bricks there that were on the road. Or just above the sort of snowy path to know where you're going. Speak with Freya. That is another one who we're going to be speaking to. Um, uh, and of course, obviously, just keep asking her if she needs anything. Bloody, bloody, splogan, blogan. Keep, again, again, just talk to her again, just in case. Uh, but otherwise, from here, we should be golden as nuggets. So what we can do, we are going to pick up Po Bag. We are going to tell him to go to the cafe. And then we're going to speak to Freya, Freya, Freya the Yogurt once again. And that basically ends this quest. So that is what we end up doing just a lot of the time here. Is, um, yeah, completing a quest before actually getting the quest to do it. So we're basically in a questception where we've done the quest to quest the quest. So we're all good. Um, no, we don't need anything, but she does miss Maya. So we need to get onto Maya... Maya Crispy Wiener Pajamas now. So from here, what we're going to do is head to the right. And we can start heading down the hills. There's a way up and there's a way down. Down is where we're going. Uh, for some reason, I got confused with that a couple of times. But again, it was just... I uh, Have a look at the environment where it's these sort of stones on the road. Uh, that is basically the way I could just sort of figure that one out. But anyway, we're going here. It's a bit of a bit of a trek for a moment. And in the distance here, we can see the next ice wolf, which you're going to pick up. And this guy's name is actually Sugar. Beep, 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 beep. Now, what we're going to do then is get Sugar to follow us. So make sure that you've just picked him up. Left bumper and then press uh, the follow me option, of course. Now, what we're going to do is go for a long, 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 long way up. So as we come back into the main area, if you turn... Immediately to your right, we're going to start heading all the way up to the mountain top and up the hill. Uh, the only reason we are using Sugar is because he's a lot quicker than the old Puddy 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 Cat. So, here we go then. When we are at the main area, you're basically doing kind of like a 360 on yourself, but going up the hill. So, turn immediately right and then just keep enjoying the scenery and try not to freeze your chunky old nip nips off. Oh, it's an elephant cloud. Or is that a bendy banana wiener cloud? Meh. Yeah. Whatever, I'm going to leave you with the interpretation. I am so cold. We need this rabbit. So we're going to jump off sugar and we're going to pick up this chunky... This is the definition of a big chungus. Um, Harvey. Harvey Weinstein. Well, Harvey Rabbit should be in prison, right? Uh, so anyway, make sure you picked up Harvey. There's going to be this little ferret thing of the capybara called Cappy. So make sure to pick him up. There's also going to be this dog called Yukiko. And of course, if they're not downstairs, they're going to be upstairs. So the capybara and the little dog, they're going to be upstairs. If they're not downstairs, make sure that you've got those two, though. Uh, but what we are going to do is we just we're going to take a little look. There it is, Yukiko. So 
keep the cat on your head. Uh, keep it nice and warm and fluffy, fluffy. What we're going to do is get Yukiko to actually follow us. Again, that's for another quest later on. Uh, head down into the hot, delicious spring yai right here. There's going to be another two capybaras. One is going to be called Frendo. Man, he is a chungus as well. And one is going to be called, I think, like Captain Barra or something. Um, so make sure that you've picked up both of the two big capybaras. The one small capybara, the rabbit outside, and the one dog called Yukiko. I'm super cute. Right, so when you've got all the animals in this particular section, we can now go ahead and speak to Luminous Lumiae. You know, the, the only person, the only other person here. And as usual, it's always the same thing. So, do you need anything? Oh, well, thanks for that. Keep talking to her. Uh, choose, I wanted to talk to you about something. Again, always choose that option first if it's available. That basically ends a quest for somebody else. Before we ask Lumi, does she need anything? So, we have actually already done what she's already asked, but what we're going to do is, uh... <laughs> we're going to get our little friend Sugar out of the springs. He looks like he's absolutely crapping his pants. Or crapping his white fur off right now. Uh, so, we're going to say, go to the cafe. And then what we're going to do is speak to Lumi once again. And I did the thing. Job done. Lovely stuff. So, go to the cafe, and then we're all good. Speak to Lumi, we've done the quest. Life is as golden as banana nuggets. So, we're actually going to go back to the cafe now. There we are. Head inside. And we are going to now finally take a little nappy nap. Uh, remember, if you want to, of course. So, what basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the right, and we're going to go and see Autumn if she's in a shop. Obviously, make sure to check the map before. Make sure she's in a, ma uh, a shop, because if she is, we can go up there. We're going to go and speak to her and finish a quest off. Uh, but again, if you don't have the recipes from Oliver and Estelle, if you want, make a quick little detour. Go down there, have a little speak with them, see what you can buy before heading all the way back up to the mountaintop to speak to Autumn. So there she is, we're going to speak to Autumn, we're going to say, I did the thing, yep, I talked to Lumi too, and, you know, just keep smashing through, so we're all good. Uh, we are going to speak to her again, come back here, you rude little piece of, speak to her again, I did the thing, yep, I talked to Lumi too, I think that was me getting a bit hot-headed with the B button right there, uh, but we do have um, a couple of things off her, we're going to ask her if she needs anything again, so she gives us yet another quest, now like I said, remember, every villager and every person that you come and speak to has three quests so there we go we've got the cat so press the b button to get her off and there we go you can speak to autumn say i did the thing what she's going to do is actually give us a potion though so you can leave the floating cat to you know be as miserable in his whole floaty existence or we can use the floaty potion on the floaty cat you know, just just be nice in it. We've already made a, a stew out of some rabbits and pigeons. We're actually going to be nice to an animal this time. So, I'm just joking. I don't. I love eating chair legs and grass as much as the next person, okay? So, with the cat down, what you can do is actually just get rid of him now. No, not get rid of him, but let him be free. So, when you pick him up, left bumper, tell him, be free. We no longer need ye. So, thank ye. So, that's the couple of ones for Autumn done. What we're going to do, get back on Calico. Now, what we're going to do is find Maya 
pajama crispia wiener are. So for me, she is at her treehouse. My other one dressed in green. The only thing um, that I had a problem with this game is, obviously, if you're still getting a bit confused with all the characters or anything, they should have had a little prompt where when you go, when you hover over a character, it should have said the character's name, just in case of any confusion. But that's fan, just fan. So, Maya, who is in the green dress, uh, for me, like I said, she's at her green, her tree house. Hopefully, she is there for you. If not, just go and find Maya, and we're going to have a little chatty chat with her. There she is, and of course the first thing we're going to say is I wanted to talk to you about something, which means we're going to finish off a quest for whoever else it was. But I can't actually remember. Sorry. Um, and then when that one is done, we can speak to Maya again, ask her if she needs anything, and it'll be nice when we get the beach open again. Right, so we're all good. So we just need to do what we need to do. So from here, turn around and sort of follow the path to the right now. We're basically heading back up the Snowbell Mountains. Only this time, we're not going to go up towards Freya's house. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to go straight. So when the path goes to the left and to the straight, we're going to go to the straight. And uh, basically have a chat with the little construction cats down the bottom. Hello. So, we actually don't have a clue what he just said, because it is a cat, of course, after all. So, um, you know, epic stuff to, uh, you know, be a construction worker, but, you know, your English is a bit lacking. Oh, the gammon flag shaggers would be fuming with that. Bloody foreign cats! Yeah. Anyway, from here we are actually going to head up to the right. And that is why everybody voted for the Tory party. Yeah, you bloody foreign cats, get out of my country. We'll get Brexit done, because deep down we're all racist. That's exactly how it is, sorry. Uh, right, so every time you leave this area, the capybaras, remember the ones that were up on Lumi's um, Tingo Scrat? Uh, up by Lumi's house, right at the top of the Snowbell Mountains. Every time you leave an area, they actually come back down to this area. So, I get them to follow me here, but we don't actually need to yet, because we're not going to be finishing Lumi's quest for just a little while. Get Brexit done! So we are actually heading up. What we do need to do is actually just speak to Freya. Um, but I thought... I did get a little bit ahead of myself. So I thought we were going to... Here's Freya's house, of course, with the next capybara. Friendo, or Captain Pigface, whatever his name is. Um, so I do get them to follow me, but I did get a little bit ahead of myself because I thought we were going to finish Lumi's quest when it turns out well, we would. So, speak to Freya. Say that you did the thing. And then Maya wanted her to have this, and... Oh my god, I love cookies so much. Oh yeah. Etc. And then just ask about the construction cats. And she is telling us to assemble the Owl Club, which is basically her, Maya, and Ash. Yeah, pretty much. Just keep spamming the Owl Club option. And then away we go. So, what we need to be doing then is finding Maya. Now, for me, again, I ended up going back to the cafe, but what I hilariously didn't realise is Maya was already on her way up to the Snowbell Mountain towards Freya's house. So, take, take a look at your map, make sure that Maya is actually at her tree house, because if she's not, you, as you can see, so I've got Oliver. Now, obviously, one more thing, sorry, one more quick thing about Oliver. Um, as soon as you open up all these new areas, Oliver starts walking around. So, if you don't get all of his recipes, again, it makes no, not that much of a difference, because you just got to travel a little bit further to him. But, just to let you know, Oliver does not stay in one place when all the things are open. 
All the areas are open, he will travel wherever, but he's still clearly visible on the map. So, again, not too much of a stressy thing, but just letting you know there. Uh, but yeah, so for me, Maya did already start climbing up the mountain, so from where we're just going to go straight back up the Snowbell Mountains, which is grand. Like I said, hopefully for you, she'll still be at the treehouse. If not, then, well, I guess we'll go for an extra walk, huh? Man, cat's tired. No food and no water makes cat a dull boy. Ah, so uh, we managed to catch Oliver on his ways, so we're going to speak to Oliver, we're going to see what reservoirs that we've got, and we've got a bread recipe, so of course, as you can see, we've got tons of money, you should have around tons of money as well. So, we've got a cornet recipe, and we've also got the bread recipe as well, so that is another two that is done. Um, nothing else from there. So hopefully again, if you do manage to catch Oliver on your travels, of course, always uh, see what's in his inventory in order to buy him. Uh, keep going up the hill. No apologies, we're not going this way. We're, I'm trying to find Freya's house again. That is where we're going. We're just trying to find Maya, of course, remember. So she ends up at Freya's house. So I do get little... For some reason, this area just confused the crap out of me and I got no idea why. Uh, but speaking to Oliver there... Uh, just confuse me. There we go. So we are going to um, Freya's house. So again, always have a look at the stones on the floor so you know exactly sort of where you are and where you're going. And when you speak to Maya, just talk about the Owl Club. Owl Club? Owl Club! Owl Club! Owl Club! And you can see if she needs anything, but she does not at this point in time. So, that's those two done. Now we, we are actually going to head back to the cafe. And we are going to go and find Ashbag. Ash Ketchum, who's not on his Pokemon adventures anymore, he's settled into this weird little area, which actually looks perfect. Not that many people to talk to, it's great, because we're all pretty much, you know, let's be honest, we all hate other people in the outside world, don't we? <laughs> it's just, it's just the truth. Everyone apart from yourself is an absolute diak. Uh, yeah, very, uh, very non-sociable we all are these days. So there is Ash anyway, she might be at her shop or she might be there. Of course, have a look for Estelle. If you still don't have the cake recipe, of course, have a little chat with Estelle, see if she's got it. If not, or she hasn't got anything else, don't worry, we're going to speak to Ash. And uh, Ash basically, well, our club, yeah, delivery. So we actually have to do something else for her. She says about work, but it's actually us having to do the work for her, which is, hmm, that's nice. Hmm. So then, for now, what we're going to do, we are going to head back to the cafe. We're going to have a little sleepy snoopy snoops. And we're actually going to make some more recipes now. So again, up to you if you want to do the same thing and just uh, go through all of the recipes until all of them are made. Just to be on the safe side in terms of getting more money. In terms of getting it all done. So when we come to quests later down the line that it's already done, up to you, of course. Uh, but that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to head downstairs... And which one, with whatever recipes I've got, I'm just going to make them all. So again, it is definitely worth doing though. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're making a corny bro. Oh, that looks kind of like a slug, to be honest. So, yeah, you know, whichever part of the world you're from. France, I know, are uh, quite partial to a little snaily, sluggy snail. And some, you know, snail baguettes and stuff. Yeah, the slime helps the taste, I suppose, doesn't it? So when you've done all of them, if you have done, if you haven't done, whatever, of course, it's up to you. Again, always worth doing, I'd say. So who we are looking for is basically Lumi. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and sleep for a day. Now, what I was hoping was if I went to sleep for a day, Oliver would um, come back. That's who I was actually just t taking a little look out for. We are going to go to Lumi and finish her quest up the Snowbell Mountains. Um, but I was just taking a look for Oliver to see if you sleep a day, if he just um, appears in like another random location. But as it turns out, no, he likes spending 24 hours a day in these snowy 
hellhole into the spring. So, well, that, if that's the case, then that's fine. But what are we going to do then from here? We are heading left. We're going up to the Snowbell Mountains. We are going to grab the three capybaras. And this time, we're going to grab those three and finish off uh, Lumi's quest for grabbing those three. So, of course, we grabbed them a little bit earlier on. And they were following us around for a bit, but as it turns out, he didn't actually need that. So, the first one is going to be, or should be, on this bridge, as soon as we get Lumi's quest. So, that is the first war. So, again, of course, just get the capybara here to follow you. Very important to do this, otherwise, uh, well, you're going to have to go search it for the next one. Get back on the coldest cat on the planet right now. But, well, or in-game, anyway. Uh, we're going to keep on heading up. Again, just, just take a look. Just make sure that the capybara is following you. And uh, when we get up here, then, what we're going to do... The second one should still be around by Freya's house. So, there it is. Freya and Maya, the Owl Club are fire. Oi! Get back here, you son of a... Right, left bumper, then get him to follow me. Follow you. I'm me. And then the final baby one, this time, is going to be around where we got Sugar the Ice Wolf earlier. The Sugar. I just haven't looked at Oliver there. So he's actually up in the springs right now for me, which is all good in case there's one little item that we still haven't got, which we do need. So from here, on the stone cobbles, go to the right. And then start heading down and around until we get the third and final Capybara. So, pick him up and then put him on your head. So, you can either follow him or just press the B button there to stick him on your head. So, that should be all three. Oh, the capybaras. They must be husband and wife because, damn, they're inside each other. The weird double-headed capybara. Okay, they're out. They're free. They're free. They've unlooped themselves now. So, where are we going then? Obviously, back to Lumi. So, obviously, at the end of the path, just basically turn directly around on yourself and go directly immediately to the right. Head all the way up and then we're going to speak to Luminous. So, actually, first things first, what we're going to do, we're going to see Oliver in one of the springs. So, before speaking to Illuminati right here, we're going to speak to Oliver and just have a look. Again, he's going to be in a different random location for you. So, if you do manage to come across him on your travels, always make sure to speak to him. And then when we get to back to the cafe, of course, we'll have a little uh, snooze. But this time, nothing good. I mean, the egg chair looked pretty fun to sit on, but apart from that, there's nothing else good. So, now we can finally speak to Lumi and end this quest. Supplies deliverer! And, of course, what she's going to do, uh, we're going to talk to her again, see if we need anything. Of course, that's fine. And, of course, since we've got all the capybaras, <laughs> we are pretty good at finding animals because there's one on the head. Can you not see your blind, blue-headed cotton candy nugget? And all we've got to do then to finish this quest, we just need to put all the capybaras actually in the springs right here. So, still having them following you does not count, I don't believe. I think you actually have to pick them up and just sit them down in the springs. There you go. Take a little 
Take a load off, bruh. Take you back now, y'all. One hub this time. Boop. So, when you've got all three and put them in, now we should be able to speak to Illuminuti. I did the thing, and the thing feels grandiae. Right, so, with Lumi done, what we can do now is head back to the cafe. Now again, while we're here, again, it's always worth going into the cafe, taking a little sleep so that Estelle and Oliver's inventory changes. I know I've said it a billion times before, but it's more of a just-in-case thing. So, we're actually looking for Mayor Kiva right now to start dropping off some of these deliveries. So, apparently there's no eggs in Estelle's shop, so we have to go all the way up the Snowbell Mountains just to get one egg. Okay then, that's fine. So, anyway, that's where we're heading then. So, straight to Maya Kiva's house, or the community center, sorry, which is by a stealth shop. So, there she is. Broski, I've got your one egg. I could have died up there, you could have literally bought, you know, half a dozen or something, but, well, you've got your stinking egg, I hope you enjoy it. Although you dress pretty well for a mayor. I'll give you that. Right, so, from here, what we're going to do now is go and speak to Poppy and Lily. Primarily, we need to speak to Lily, rather than Poppy, who, of course, is by Mayor Kiva's house. Now, this one was a bit of a surprise. Now, I didn't realise this, this father and daughter was so close. You'll see exactly what I mean in a minute, but uh, definitely surprise me. Maybe it's legal in other parts of the world, but uh, it's goddamn sickening is what it is. So head back to the flower house right here. Make sure that Poppy and Lily are about. Yeah, just uh, keep looking. There we go. So they should be behind. Ooh, we got more monies. More monies. And then, oh, sick. Sick. Look, they're inside each other. Oh, Poppy, Lily, what the hell, man? Ah, oh, bruh, again, you know, other parts of the world, you might be fine with that, but that is some sick shit. So, I need to speak to Lily. So, Poppy, if you could get yourself out of your daughter for just a couple of seconds there, I, I just need to speak to her. You do go, you do you, in just a minute, but, you know, get your hand off her butt, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, Poppy. Okay, that in this story of the, uh, this, <laughs> that in this part of the world is an arrestable offence. You incestual disgustingness, as it were. Um, excuse me, Poppy, if you could just piss off. I am trying to speak to your daughter. Uh -huh, la -la. Hopefully, you know, Poppy and Lily are not as uh, disgusting in your game as they are in my game. Ah, there we go, finally. So, sp speak to Lily and tell her about the chair delivery. Uh, ask her if she needs anything, and she should be good. We're going to just leave you to, to your own weird chair flower loving whatever the hell that is going on we're just gonna leave you to that so that is the second delivery completo where we're gonna go now is and since the deliveries are done we can now finally go ahead and speak to ash to assemble the owl club owl club owl club sounds like a ramstein song about to start didn't it did, did anybody go and see ramstein in cardiff by the way the other night it looked fantastic uh, right, so anyway, um, obviously if you're watching this a year down the line, then uh, yeah, Ramstein came to Cardiff, 2022, the 30th of June 2022, and everyone said they loved it. So anyway, after speaking to Ash, uh, basically just saying that the deliveries are done, we are heading back here. Um, oh, hello lady owls, and we're just going to take a sleep before, uh, after we, I mean, before we go back into the Snowbell Mountain. So after we take a sleep right here, our lovely little lady friends are going to nip off, and we are going to head all the way back up to Freya's house in the Snowbell Mountains.
so you do have a little bit of time there. So if you wanted to, you could have gone to Estelle and uh, if Oliver was about, just to see if they got the recipes, if you're still needing some. If not, we're just going to come up to Freya and Maya, and we've just got about a minute or two to wait until Ash turns up. So, you know, good waiting, kid. Ah, and there she blows. Right, to get this started, just walk uh, immediately by them. If you accidentally nip out of the dialogue like I just did there, just, uh, you know, go for a little walk and come back, and there we go. So sort of have a little spin around, right? And then what you just need to do is just smash through all the dialogue, hoot hoot, blah de blah, as is the per, as is the usual. So then what we need to do now is speak to the construction cats that have been blocking the access to the beach. H so don't go right here. We just need to go straight, basically straight back down from Freya's house. Do some good epic kitty cat. Take a break, take a kit cat, jump in. Ah, snap legs. Actually, cats are good in there. They've got about 16 billion lives. To do what? Scratch people when they're sad and happy. Wow, oh, what a cat. Blech. Blech. So, anyway, when we get here, we're going to take a left. We're going to speak to the construction cat. Now, you don't actually have to wait for Freya and the and the like and the hour club to turn up. You can actually just press the B button. Speak to the construction cat. And then if you just press the B button, then everyone should automatically appear behind you. And basically get the beach open for us. Bang on. Ah, oh, there we go. Straight in front. We didn't even have to wait or press anything. So basically what the cat wants then is a, a bagel, I think. And we've already made the bagel, so what you have to do is just go ahead, speak to Ash. Ash? Bogles? <laughs> I'm sure you can have a bogle. Uh, yeah, that's all good, so as soon as that's done, go ahead, speak to the cat. Meow, cat and bagels at the cafe. Go on, get! You could literally just run past the cat, but there we go! So, the owls will be on their way, the big city achievement will unlock, and we can now get the way to Cutie City. Now, uh, back before the game got a major update, the owls, or the three girls, would actually stand right there, right in front of us, right there. So, if that does happen, that's fine. It just means that we just have to do a little bit more walking to get to do a quest later on. But it should be fine, and they should all be on their merry ways, and life is good. So, welcome to Cutie City, ya. Yeah? You don't actually have to speak to any of these cats, because I thought there was a crap load of animals to pick up. But as it turns out, the, the cats are citizens. Look at them! Little cat citizens walking on two legs! <laughs> it's so cute. So, what we're going to do is head over to Malcolm, who is just past the road here, next to this house. Go ahead and speak to Big Malas. Malcolm Powder. Yeah, yeah. Now again, just with the dialogue options, you're just going to smash through every single one. Does not make a difference. All we need is uh, just a quest off him. So obviously, you know, you can say what you want. It doesn't matter as long as we've got the um, uh, whatever quest that, that it is that we're going to get off him by saying, "Do you need anything?" Right. So good luck, yeah. Cheers for that, mate. Right. Before going straight off, jump off the cat and go through these two buildings right here, and we're going to see a little. Pidge bird for us to chow down on. Oh, we got some more monies, the cats. Uh, pick up Flappy the bird. That's a very funny one. Flappy bird, probably the most annoyingly frustrating game that there ever was. Apart from, you know, actual hard games and stuff, like the Ninja Gaiden series. Uh, there he is, so big flap bags the bird in the cutie city. So that's the first one done, right. From here, we're gonna go to the left. And you can see a little raccoon just hanging about there. I think he's called Trash King, is he not? Yeah. Trash King the raccoon, which is funny. But we're going to stick him on our head. So press the B button there to stick him on our head. And then just keep going straight down until you can see another house in the distance, like right there. And that is where we're going to talk to Steve. Steve the Wizard Magician. I mean, it's a bit of a bit of a disappointing name, isn't it, really? So speak to him a couple of times until we can get the quest off him.
And as long as we get to the point where he says, nah, Bransky, I'm good, we can just turn around, go down the hill, to the right, next to all these pretty little flowers, we're going to just speak to this construction worker, that's another area that we're going to nip in. Uh, so we've got another quest there to do now. So from here, go behind you. And what we're going to do is actually just go up this little piece of hill right here. So for some reason, the more you go into the game, the smaller the areas become. Which, hey, I'm all up for that. Uh, but we're heading down the road. We've got four people, not five people to speak to in this area. And two of them we've already done. So just head straight down again until you can see a woman in a red dress called Zin. There she is. Big Zin. Oh, will do. Right, so, say I wanted to talk to you about something. Mushroom spores for Lily, blah de blah de blah So there we go. And then ask her if she needs anything. Hi, what is it? Blah, blah, blah. And this should pretty much, I believe, that we are done with the quest now, as we get some more monies. Yes, so we've already done the quest. Speak to her again, we've done the quest. Job is as good as a big penis hood. I don't know what I'm talking about now. So, down the street, we're going to speak to Lee, who is in this little blue jumper right here. There is going to be another cat that will appear, but I don't know if he only appears specifically after you speak to Lee right here. So, give Lee a little chatty chat. Very Sims-related stuff. Uh, so, just keep speaking to him again until Lee gives us the nice little quest. Um, and the quest is basically giving him a couple of beans. So, we, I mean, we flicked, we've had enough of our bean. We're going to flick the bean over to Lee. So that'll be a hundred less, but you should have a decent amount of money by now. So, uh, just turn back around, and now eventually that cat should, there it is. So if the cat's not appearing right here, you can either wait here for just a couple of minutes or so, or just go up the side street. Uh, Mary the cat. So once you picked up Mary the cat, but go up the hill and it should be sort of circling the building. Anyway, go in between these two buildings when that's done. Turn around and you're gonna see another little raccoon. There it is. Oh no, sorry, this is this is the trash king. Yeah, whatever. It's another raccoon anyway. Again, if the trash king's not here, go out of this building here, turn right, and again it should be doing a little circle around that building. So make sure you picked up Mary the cat and trash king the raccoon. So it should be in the same areas of where we've just picked them up. Go all the way down here. Now, to complete Safina, this is obviously another new person to speak to. But to complete her quest, all you got to do is shell out, I think, like a thousand beans or something. So, even though you're going to be losing a lot of money, that is what the quest is about. So just keep pressing the yes button until Safina's like, where? Well, we're all good, Brownski boy. Oh, so there we go then. So she gave us 500 and she actually takes 1,300 off us. <laughs> Which is fine. We're actually going to get all that money plus more back later on. So when you've had enough and Safina said, yeah, we're all good for now. We're going to head back down the street once more. Into the sort of little dock area right here. And what we're going to see is the first cat, Mrs. Kitty. So speak to Miss Kitty and then drop her. Now we're going to head back down all the way to the beach. Couple more animals that we're going to grab on here. And the first ones should be right in front of us. Called Ollie the dog. Oli. So fling him around. Chuck him into the sea. Whatever you want to do. Um, now if we from here. What we're going to do is head back to the cafe apparently. Sorry I thought we were going to grab all the animals. But no we're going to uh, nip back to the cafe then first. Hello Mayakiba. Um, right so. What we actually need is the cake stand, or the, the cake store that was already in the cafe look. So, that, that was a bit of an edit, by the way, because I was getting confused about nothing. Uh, but what you need to do, um, just go into your inventory, go ahead and place something, anything down. 
press the uh, X button to store that selected furniture, and then we can go over to the cake stand here, press the A button to pick it up, and then the X button to store it. Um, now, normally you would have just been able to press Y, but for some reason, um, to go into the furniture mode, but for some reason it wasn't really happening for me this time. So we've got the cake store, the cake stand, whichever one you want to call it. Let us get back on to Cali Cali Cali. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually find Poppy and Lily. Now, Poppy and Lily, I've literally just rode past them for some reason. I thought they were at their house, and they literally just went out of my cafe. So, wherever Poppy and Lily are on screen for you right now, that is who we're heading towards. So, go find Poppy and go find Lily. Again, very dumb me decided to, you know, just literally waltz straight past them for some reason. But it is Poppy and Lily that we need to find, so go find them. Go, go. So there we go then, just literally realizing my mistake, as you do. <laughs> so again, so what we're going to be doing then, we're going to speak to Poppy first and ask him about the flowers and the poison flowers, etc. Just so we know what we're getting. Oh, look at that, nice, nice of you not to be inside each other for a little conversation. <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, yes, ask him about the flowers. Then what we're going to do is speak to Lily. I actually go to wander off, but don't do that. We are going to speak to Lily. So what you're going to say then, of course, is I did the thing. Uh, I did the thing with big old Zin. Um, I do accidentally get a bit ahead of myself there, but I accidentally pressed the B button again, which is why I didn't get no questo completo. So speak to Lily. Nah, not you, you son of a... There we go. So hey there, flower friend. I did the thing. Yep, and Zin... All good, so that's that quest complete, finally. So, from here, we do actually need to speak to Lily again. So, that's what I'm trying to... I'm not, I'm not just wal uh, waltzing around there for the uh, sake of it. Uh, we're going to ask her if she needs anything. Um, so, she does say she's a little bit distracted, blah de blah de blah Right, let us go and speak to Maya Kiva now, whatever she is. Hopefully she is close by and at a house for you, so that means we can just quickly and nippingly nip on by. Make sure, of course, that we've still got the raccoon chilling on our head. And the amount of animal feces in our head right now must be disgusting and we still haven't showered. So, go ahead, speak to Kiva. What we're going to do is actually ask her now about the poison flowers. She's going to give us a little bit of... Uh, a little bit more information and obviously just ask her if she needs anything uh, after this one cat corporation blah 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 and we should be good so now we can go back to the flower house and speak to poppy once more Right, so after this is done, what we're going to do is head back to the cafe. Now, we need to basically sleep in order to progress a couple of quests. But what I end up doing... Uh, so, what I'll do is sleep first, have a look at the quests uh, by going right on your D-pad, and then if you see that you've only got, like, one thing left to do on, I think, three of the four quests, that means that you're all good. Uh, so, let's just take a little look here. Uh, so, yeah... If you got if if the bottom one is now just black, which basically means that's all we've got left to do, means that you're on the right path. But just in case, it's always worth sleeping just for a second day, which I do. Better to be safe than sorry. Just to make sure that we are definitely and damn diddly ding dong tiddly piddly fin fan tiddly tastic, said Ned Flounders. So when you've slept once or you know try twice, that'd be good. What we're gonna do now is actually head. 
uh, the right at the crossroads here and head all the way up to Autumn's house. Uh, obviously make sure that Autumn is there this time. What we're gonna buy from her is a night potion and a day potion. So basically just gives you the ability to obviously change it tonight and change it today as and if and you're pleasing. And again, you should have plenty of money. They only cost 300 beanie bags each. So you should be having plenty of monos uh, in order to, if you need a couple, it's always worth grabbing a couple, but I, I only grab one of each, so it should be good. So we're going to speak to Autumn here, and you're just going to say I wanted to talk to you about something, and just smash through the proverbial dialogue. So that was all good. Whip up a fix. Let me whip up a cream pie. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Doesn't matter which one. But now we're going to speak to Autumn again. Uh, just ask what's for sale this time, and then what we're going to do then is choose the moon option, which is the nighty night potion. So that's for 300 beans. And... Now, we only need that one for the specific quest, but I actually end up getting the Good Morning Potion as well. Just so it's not too dark on screen for you guys and gals. So, oh, I'm nice like that, and I, I think about you so much. A little too much, actually. Hmm. Uh, no. So, when we got the Good Night Potion, what we're going to do, we're going to jump all the way down. Again, remember, your cat has about a six... B it basically has double the lives if it's this big. Um, and then we can just head up over the bridge... Up the stairs, and we're going to end up by Maya's, uh, well, the sort of main path. Um, close to Maya's treehouse and close to the town, because where we are actually going is back to Sunny's house. So, again, back in the sort of main town area bit, we are going to go ahead and speak to Sunny. Uh, and then we're going to go and speak to Lily afterwards as well. I, has nobody literally just got a mobile phone or just a phone it and go... Oh, look, mate. Bloody, I got some mushroom spores for you, by your Come get them. Anyway, speak to Sunny. Say, we're back. I did the thing. We're all good. Um, I mean, you think, innit? Or even just a correspondence. Like, get one of the... There's millions of animals about. Chuck a letter in. Stick them up their uh, collars and, you know, go to Sunny or whatever. Anyway, so Sunny's done. Now head over to Poppy and Lily's house, the old flowery ball bag house. And speak to Lily. Yes, this would have been easier with easier correspondence, but there we go. So, I did the thing again. We've got the potion from Autumnios. And that one is all good. So, we're going to get back on Calico. And we're going to go ahead and speak to Steve. Now, from here, what we're going to do, go up to Maya Kiva's house on this little brow of hill right here. So, rather than go in the main pathway, go past Maya Kiva's house on the right. And we're just going to jump straight down. No! Le Splato. And we arrive immediately at Steve's house, which is nice. So this is the only time that we need to actually speak to Steve, by the way. Uh, tell him that we did the thing, and we're all good. Now we've got the display case that we got from our shop, and it basically gives us a good display case. Something like that, anyway. Right, so what we need to do is head just back into Cutie City. So not the way I went, but the opposite way, of course. That was pretty much like a comedic effect there. Like, you know when Jim Davidson went to meet Ashley uh, Banjo, Banjo String from that dance group Diversity? He was very racist, went to exit, and he exited into a cupboard or closet or something. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for being a racist pig. Right, so speak to Malcolm Powder again anyway. Uh, and this is the only time that we have to speak to Malcolm Powder as well. So, uh, quest are pretty... Well, they're getting smashed out deliciously now, aren't they? So he gives us another couple of items, which is nice. We're going to head down the uh, next street and we're actually looking for Lee so uh, get your map out just make sure that Lee is by his house if not of course it is the lady in blue or the guy in blue I don't know anyway uh, make sure he's by his house if he is which I believe that's a she yeah it looks like a she sorry um, we are Basically, just going to speak to him, and again, we've obviously done the one quest, so we are going to get the next quest up now, and it's for basically doing a lot of deliveries. So, go ahead and go past Zin, and we're just going to go down the next street. And all we're going to do then, speak to Safina, smash it out, she's going to give us another crap ton of money, 
But the beach will also now be open. So job done, we'll get another achievement. We've just got a cheeky three grand, that's nice. So we doubled our profit. Oh, if only it was that easy. I want all that monies. So after this one's done, we'll get the achievement. And we've opened up the beach for us, which is nice. Right, so from here then, what we can do now is just head back to the cafe, which is what we're going to do. And we're going to go for a little snoopy snooze to, of course, refresh the inventory stock from um, Estelle and Oliver. In case you've been uh, catching them and you haven't got all the recipes yet. And it's always worth doing until the end of the game. It's better to just get the achievements out of the way as quick as you can, isn't it? Because nobody wants to spend time on a game more than they actually have to. So, uh, what we're also going to do now is... Again, if you're so wishing, you can. You don't have to again, of course, but it's probably worth it. For more of that sweet, sweet money, even though we should be definitely good for money for the rest of the game. But I'm just going to go ahead. If we've got any recipes, I'm just going to go ahead and make these boys for a second. Alright then, so as usual, we've got a few things to do. Man, we never get a rest in this bloody town. Oh, the joys of being a cafe owner, huh? Are you cafe owners with me? Yeah, is this what happens in real life? I assume it's uh, a lot more stressy than this. Anyway, go and grab Calico, or you can go ahead and grab Sugar. Beep, 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 beep. Then run! Straight! Now we are actually going to be running and we're going to be finding uh, Maribel. Have a little chat with her. Where are you, Queen Maribel? Oh, lady in blue. Hurry up, get out, meow. Right, there we go. So, we're going to ask her and say I've wanted to talk to you about something. Happy birthday, Maribel. Lee wanted you to have this. Oh, yeah. Lee and Maribel going to get it on. Right, head up to Ash's house. Go behind Ash's house. And now, of course, that we've got entrance to QEC, we can just make a run, break, and break the wolf's legs. Bleep. Apparently, that's how that that's how a break this sounds. Bleep. It's a lot more better than crunching bone and ugh, you know all that. Anyway, we're heading down a couple of streets now. We're gonna find Lee once again. Hey, it's you. And then say, I did da ting. Right, that's okay, Lee. Hey, if you want to get on there, you get in there, buddy. Girl. Yeah. Right, so we've got the quest done. We are actually going to speak to Lee again to get Lee's third and final quest done. Uh, so, yeah. So, what he's going to do now is give us a couple of shirts or some clothes or whatever. And we actually have to go to each person and give them the clothes. Again, it's not that far. You can literally just walk up and find them. But, well, you know, then it wouldn't be a very good video game, would it? If we could just sit back and watch everyone else do their own chores, as it were. So we're going to head back to the cafe now. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's Oliver for us. Come on, Oliver. Give us the good stuff, boy. Come on, Oliver. Come in. Have a look. Oh, hey, we got a cheesecake recipe. Right. So there is a cheese coking. Do we have anything Odin? Club table, egg chairs. Tobin, uh, that's nice. Wind up pangolin. Randy Marsh needs to stay away from some pangolins. That's how COVID started, according to South Park. Uh, but that is the only one he had. So we only had the cheesecake recipe. So that will do us. So what we're going to do now is go all the way back to Poppy's house now. 
So, of course, it is the House with the Flowers, as we should know by now. We've been playing almost two hours of this. So we're going to go ahead and speak to Poppy, and then we're going to go into the new area with the lighthouse, which is just behind Poppy's house. Oh, that's all good. Here we are. Let's go and speak to the bald, yet extremely weird man. And it's only weird because, well, we seen what he was doing earlier. I wanted to talk to you about something. Give him the shirt from Lee. Now, when Lee said about Poppy first, I thought, oh, trying to get another woman. Then I forgot Poppy was this bearded, bald, badass man. So, jump up. There's a bunch of steps right in front of us there. We're not going to use the steps. We're going to jump down. Ah! Les Plateau. And that is better than a blood noise. So, there are four animals we're going to pick up here. The first one to the right of when we jump down is a ferret called, um, you know, this guy. Hey, hey. So, the ferret's done. There's basically a horse, a ferret, a dog, and a cat that we're going to grab. So, we can mount the ferret if we so wish. Um, the cat, they should just be in like, kind of like a square shape, if you will. So if you go sort of directly ahead of us now, um, from where we just picked up the ferret, there should be the dog. Woof, woof, mother flup. There we go. So that's the dog done. Now the cat should, there we go. So the cat's directly in front of us. You can see the horsey on the left. The horsey, the horse on the left. Sorry, that's the ferret. The cat should be by the ferret though. So there it is. Uh, you can just drop the dog. We don't actually need the dog. Just make sure to grab the cat. So that should be the ferret, a dog, a cat, and a horse, which we're going to grab. So that should be four animals uh, picked up and done in, once again, no time at all. So we're going to put the cat on our head this time. Hello, Lily. Uh, so put the cat on your head and then go ahead and speak to the horse. Now, the horse, we are going to get, uh, we're going to basically get him to follow us because we're going to be riding him for the rest of the game. After you pick him up, ro 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 pure steroid strength once again, ish. Right, so, uh, yeah, you can take a look if you want. Now, to get actually some of the achievements to pop, especially for the quests and townsfolk and animals, etc., you actually have to press up on the D-pad to go in to your little notebook thing here for the achievement to pop. So I'll let you know when we get to that point anyway. Uh, but we're basically getting the horse more or less in our party and to follow us because he is the strong the quickest sort of animal in the game until we get the broom a little bit later on so sorry calico um well you're just a bit bad and, bad and bruised we're gonna go for something a little bit fresher if that's okay yeah that's nice right so what we're gonna do is go past the lighthouse and we're actually gonna jump all the way back down onto the beach ready jump up <laughs> And then that's how a horse crafts themselves. But right in front of us, you should see the first of the three pigs on the beach. Now, they used to be called Piggles 1, 2, and 3, but they're called Jiggles, Wiggles, and Piggles this time. So, get the pigs going to the cafe. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, getting on the horse. But that is the first one, which is right in front of you as you sort of jump down. There is going to be another cat. Not the one that is sleeping. God, I'm so jealous of that cat right now. But there should be another cat walking around. There it is. So this one is called uh, whatever it's called. I can't actually see because I'm going blind. So pick up that cat. So that should be one pig and one cat right now that we should have got. Now over to the other side of the beach, there is a miniature horse called the hilariously called Horsey 2, the sequel. Uh, just goddamn hilarious. And then if you keep going over to the other side of the beach, you're going to see the next two piggies. One called Piggles and one called Wiggles and one called My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle. It folds. Oh man, TikTok. I hate you so much. Anyway, pick up the two pigs. So that should have been three pigs, one mini horse and a cat that you should have got on this beach. The incredibly named, of course, Horsey 2, the sequel. So again, if you want to just be uh, sure on that one. Oh, in fact, there we go. We'll get the achievement called Animal Charmer. And that is for meeting every type of animal on the island. But as you can see, it didn't unlock until I actually pressed up on the D-pad and went into the Animals tab. So we've now um, got... We've now met every animal type. We just now need to grab every other single animal in the next 40 minutes or so. But we're going to come back up here. We are going to speak to Kai for the first time. So that's another person that we spoke to. And again, obviously, we need to know how to reach Golden Grove. And obviously, we're going to be doing a couple of things for her. Giant cat butt. 
Ah, yes, we've already been inside that giant cat, but it was, uh, it was not pretty. I've seen my own shits that were prettier than a cat butt. So, I uh, keep talking to her, and then she'll say, um, do you need anything, of course. And then just keep on spamming, keep on spamming it through. A cat, of course. Now, luckily, well, it's not lucky we've got a cat on our head, isn't it? So, again, sometimes we're finishing these quests, they can be a little bit finicky. So... If you press the B button to just have the cat in your arms, you can finish the quest this way. You can finish a quest with the cat actually on your head as well. Um, but it can be quite finicky. So, say I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, Lee wanted me to have this sweater. Yes, it does. That's nice. And then we can speak to her again and need anything. She basically says, I can't wait to meet my cat. So, I believe what we can just do is just give her the cat by just having it in your arms, but for whatever particular reason, it, it, it just didn't seem to want to work for me. So again, hopefully it's not going to be the same for you. But over this way then, there is going to be a bridge. The bridge will not be there yet. Um, but I thought I'd just sort of have a little walk away. Um, basically give the quest a, a bit of time to sort of refresh itself or something, because, uh, yeah... So I end up going to the cafe anyway, <laughs> as it were. And I think we're just going to take a little sleep, so yeah. So what should happen is, with the cat quest, you should be able to just say, there you go, there's your cat, you should be good. For whatever reason, it didn't work. So that's why we are going to... That's why we have gone to sleep. Sorry, I thought I just walked away and come back, but no, I actually come back to the cafe, have a little sleep. Again, if Oliver, or if you need needing something from Estelle, is in view, Make sure to go to them, uh, if you want, of course, completely up to you to get some more recipes if you need in. Put the cat back in your head now, like I said, for some reason it just didn't work for me. So hopefully this time, we can now go back. And the, the, the way you get there, the easiest way you get there is from the cafe, just turn directly immediately right. And then you're going to see a little drop off, you're going to go over the water, you need to go over the water. There it is. So, from the cafe, go immediately right, and then you're going to see... We're in this, like, little weird uh, bit of wilderness. When you go directly right from the cafe, you can just jump down, and you can see the giant cat butthole in the giant log straight away. So, if you feel like you didn't do enough earlier, just jump straight into his butt again. And you can see the lighthouse straight in front of us. So, come down here, speak to Kai, and the quest should now be able to be finished. So yes, as it turns out then, yeah, this time, so, again, there might be a few times where you'll have to do that, uh, for whatever reason. Uh, you know, it wasn't as glitchy as it used to be before, but sometimes you might just have to do that, which is fine. So, well, anyway, we're heading back to the cafe and we're going for a cheeky little nap. Right, mate, it is time we're going to move some pretty cat. Uh, but actually, the first thing we're going to do is actually go to the shop and speak to Estelle. So, sorry, Calico, you're about, like I said, from now, you're about as useless as a screen door on a submarine. So, um, <laughs> nah, you're not that bad, but still, you're slow, damn it. So, let's just head to the shop. We're going to go and speak to Estelle Welly. There she is. Now remember, of course, if you do need any recipes, of course, now would be a perfect time to see if she's got any. It's only the cake, uh, which is this, the main one we're going for. Otherwise, you say special item for Kai, and then we can get out of Kai. Cobra Kai. Right, 
so just head directly basically straight from where you were we're not going to go to Cutie Town, which is that way. So keep heading sort of towards Mayor Kiva's house, which is on the right here. Until we see the lighthouse in front. And then jump, boy, jump! Let's splamo! And that is the new noise for death. So if anyone dies by, you know, whatever, just go... Oh, look, he's Les Splamoed himself. I don't think that's really going to catch on. But, uh, you know, worse things have. Like TikTok. That's caught on. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to speak to Cobra Kai once again. And uh, it gives us the giant lens, which is good. And this is kind of a mini game. All you got to do is put the laser and leave it on the red reticle right there. And then eventually the cat's going to jump like hell, which is going to go well for us. Um, and then it's basically automatically going to end. So it's more of a... It's not more of a mini game. It's more of a nothing game. But uh, still something we got to do. So speak to Kai, say that it worked again. And now you can see all these pigs and stuff about. So for the next quest, as we get an achievement called Big Solution. Um, so, so again, obviously speak to Kai here. And Kai is going to want us to get the pigs and stuff out of here. So after L conversation's done, what we're going to do is pick up the first pig, Wiggles. And we're going to say, follow me, Wiggles. Next, we're going to pick... So, there's three pigs and the mini horse, basically, is what we have to get rid of. So, the first two pigs should be around this area. Just tell the first two pigs to follow you. Um, now, they should be following you with no issue. If they don't, for whatever reason, just pick them up and tell them to follow you again. The third one should be around the right side of the lighthouse here. We can put that on our head. And for the fourth one, the mini horse should be roughly around the back of the lighthouse. There it is. Um, but for some reason, I decide to... Instead of just going straight for it but there, I decided to go the complete long way around and grab him from the other side for some reason. So that should be two pigs following you, one fat chunky pig on your head and grab the mini horse. We can obviously keep him in our arms. So now what we need to do is just make sure that we get all the two pigs following us, go down to the beach and then release them all of course by pressing the X button. Uh, again, it, it'll be one of those, if you press right on the D-pad to get your quest uh, quest, uh, quest, quest, quest. Oh, what a question. Uh, but no, get your quests up, and then if you have it tracked, you'll be able to see uh, just how many uh, animals you get on the beach, and make sure that it's all good. Uh, like so. Um, now, for whatever reason, I don't know if they followed me or if they went on a beach another way. So I end up just chucking the, these two animals down. So when you chuck these animals down, they're going to stay there anyway. So if for whatever reason the other two don't follow you, uh, it seemed to work for me. So I, I chucked them down and the quests seem to end fine. If not, go up and grab the other two pigs and just bring them down yourself. Either way, it's pretty nice. Pretty slicey. Uh, but apparently the other two pigs knobbed off anyway, so we're all good. So speak to Cobra Kai once more. I did the thing. Oh, well, thank you very much. And 800 beanie bags as well. We are roach. So get back on your horse. And from here, where we're going to go is straight back to the cafe. And again, if you want to sleep, of course, be my guest. Always worth doing, of course, for the uh, inventory restock. But what we're going to do is go immediately right here. So we're just going to immediately right. We're going to jump off the cliff, go to the other side, over the water. And, and oh, oh my gosh, I sunk into the floor. So here we go. We're going to jump down. And of course, what we're going to see is the giant log coming up straight in front of us. Instead of going to Cutie City and stuff. There's the giant log, and there ain't no cat butthole there this time, so, well, let's get in there, boys, let's go, ready, steady, I'll just show you where it is, now, there it is, so, basically, we're, it's, we're, we're by, by Autumn's house, right at the very bottom, so nip through, and of course, we've got a few animals to grab, so immediately, there is going to be this cat, Electro Von Snugglebutt. One of the greatest names in the game, apart from Horsey 2, the sequel. Uh, but stick the cat on your head, and then head immediately left. You're going to see this little bridge. Uh, go right from the bridge, don't actually cross it. And we're going to see fantastic Mr. Fox. Except he's not that fantastic, but he is a Mr. Fox. So give him the old uh, Tom Stoltman mega strength fox throw around, as it were. 
go straight from here. Now, there are two animals here. In the middle of this uh, grassy patch, you're going to see this little ferret. Or oh, is that a cat? No, it looks like a cat to me. Um, big Perry dog, the cat, Periwinkle. Yukiko is still following us, by the way, so make sure that you do still have Yukiko following. And then if you go straight, we're going to see the boar, who is called, what's, it, what's he called? Boar the boar? Pig bag the boar? Or let's say, Mo. So that should have been the boar there, the cat, the other cat, and fantastic Mr. Fox. So of course, I, I mean, obviously, like I said, if we turn left here, we're going to speak to Daisy for the first time. But I've obviously got uh, timestamps with every animal that we picked up below. So if you're somehow missing one, have a look um, at your animal checklist. See which area that you're missing that particular animal from. And I'll obviously, uh, will be in the timestamp for ye. But obviously, hopefully, if you've been following, you shouldn't have no issues and you should be good to go. So, with Daisy, smash through all the dialogue as is the, per as is the usual. Oh, a really gentle one. Well, luckily, we've got a gentle cat on our head with the best name in the world. So, press the B button to get it down, speak to Daisy again, I did the thing, Electra Von Snuggly Butts. <laughs> it's so goddamn funny. Bye, Electra Von Snuggly Butts. There we go, we got the mouse's, uh, mouse hybrid human weird things. Done, so you can let Electra Von Snugglybutts be free. Uh, now, just left of Daisy's house, there is Murphy the dog right here. Um, but we need to be coming past this bit anyway, so don't actually have to grab him just yet if you don't want. Obviously worth doing if you want to be a just-in-case type thing. Um, but for now, we can just leave him if you so wish. So, as you can see, all the hats there. So, we've still got quite a few quests to do. Not too much. Um, we're coming up to about 30 minutes left of the game now. So, jump back on Horsey. We're going to go and speak to Daisy again. And then just ask her, of course, if we need it, if she needs anything. And keep going. So, we're going to do Daisy's quest in just a hot second. So, turn directly around from where Daisy was, go towards Murphy, but then we're going to take a right. So, get Murphy, and then take a right and go up this hill. There's a little stream over on the left. But what we're going to see on the hill of this, uh, the brow of this hill, there's going to be a little deer directly in front of us, quite close to the water. Uh, don't worry, they're not going to run away or anything, because deers are a bunch of fannies in real life, aren't they? They run away from every little noise. Um, so as soon as you get that one, go to the left from where we were, and then we'll see this house with our penultimate poison in it, Gabby. Gabby! So, uh, say I wanted to talk to you about something, um, uh, something about Daisy. She's all good, blah de blah de blah and then what we're gonna say is I wanna, uh, need anything this time. So obviously, as we've been doing, smash it, smash, smash up the old, uh, nugget. Do you want a big dog, little dog, cardboard box? Well, luckily we got Yukoko right here. So, pick up Yukoko, then choose I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah, sorry, for some reason. This was a bit finicky again, so you have to say that to Gabby twice. I wanted to talk to you about something before it went in. And then I asked her about needing any help, and then she went, Oh, yeah, sorry, just got a little bit of Alzheimer's I have. Yeah, uh, I forgot I just spoke to you about all of this. So yeah, make sure to say the, do you need any, um, I need to talk to you twice, in case it does come up twice, and then ask her if she needs anything, and that should be good. Then you can speak to her and says, uh, do you need anything, I did the thing, blah de blah de blah, and this will basically end Gabby's quest. Um, and I, yeah, sorry, I was just spamming the B button there, which is why it was a bit of a, nothing going on. So, she's got you, you Kiko, Co you Coco Pops. Whatever the bloody dog was called, and we can move on. And where we're going to move on is go left of where Gabby was standing and head down the hill. We're going to find Mr. Bear. He's to the left of me right now, but I actually just miss him. So he's going to be in this uh, particular area somewhere. Uh, so I am going to find him if we just head to the right. Ah, there he goes. So for me, he was right here. So make sure that you picked up Mr. Bear. And again, fair dues to old Smurfette right here. She is not taking anyone's crap, which is pretty banging. Right, get back onto our horse. 
So what we're going to do now is go back to Daisy in order to complete her quest. So head down here onto the path. You can see where it sort of splits off right here. Um, now for me, we need to be going to the left. So what do I do? I start going to the right. Yeah, we need to be going to the left, sort of back down the hill. So head towards Daisy. Uh, obviously, we're going to see Murphy the dog. So again, if you didn't pick him up earlier, just make sure to pick him up right now. Let's splash -o. That's what's going to be called bath time and shower time from now on. Hey, honey, just going for a Les splash -o. That'll catch on. That should catch on. Uh, God damn it. So, yeah, trying to talk to characters here on the horse or anything. It's a bit tricky. So, we are going to jump off. And we're going to speak to El Dezo. Say I did the thing. Yada, yada, yada. Up the blup. There we go. So, that one is all dub. <clears throat> so, from here then, we can now... Uh, what we're actually going to do... Now, for me, Oliver, I'm going to get the achievement for getting and gathering all the recipes. Because Oliver, as you can see in the bottom right corner, is going towards Kai's Lighthouse. And, of course, for me, I got lucky with this one. He had the last recipe that we needed. So, from Daisy's house, turn right. We're going to go past Mo the Boar. And, yep, yeah, so all we're doing is basically, basically, we're going to go straight. You can see the lighthouse now in the distance. So, we're going to go up the brow of the hill, if we can. Yeah, boy. You could do anything if you put your mind to it. Yeah, we at Flexbird, I'm going to put my mind to it. So make a jump. Ah, boom, yay, made it. No problem, Bojack Horseman. So just head down, and of course, we are, like I said, I'm going to get the achievement here. If you, well, I mean, if you got it before, that's great. If you don't still have it yet after seeing Oliver, uh, remember, obviously, we know the trick about going to sleep and then going back to Oliver and... Or just waiting until the end of the game. That's is the final one that we've got. So the muffin recipe for me. That gives me the complete kitchen achievement. But again, you can wait till the end of the game. Get the broom. Fly over to where Oliver is a lot quicker. It'll be a lot faster. Because you can go up in the air. Do some flying and search. So, with that one done. We've now got the achievement. That's the only reason I went back to Kai's Lighthouse, by the way. Was just to see Oliver. Otherwise, we are going back to the cafe. Hello, everyone. Thank you for spending your money. I've literally... I haven't done anything. You're just eating mouldy, stale armpit stuff. But keep giving me a 300 beanie bags, by all means. So when we wake up anyway, after the, our little slumber, and the first thing we're going to do, press up on the D-pad, go into your animals, and we're going to find Piggles. Now, I believe this has to be a specific one. So it's the pig with the little marks on him right here. So for us, it's Piggles. I think in potentially other games, uh, he was called Piggles 3. Um, so yeah, if it's called Piggles 3, it's going to be Piggles 3. Basically the pig with, the, you know, the warts on him and stuff, the uh, AIDS on him, like. So AIDS pig, which will be delicious in my tummy when we buy it from Tesco's. Right, or Walmart. Free gun with every purchase of bacon, the American way. Right, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just joking America, but still, still. So you got Piggles in your party, so of course Piggles will be following us now. That will be all good. So where we're going to head now is um, Autumn's house. Just making sure Autumn's there. So we're going to head all the way to the right here at the crossroads and head all the way back up to Aut Autumn Nimimian's house. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, uh, Kelly. You in jail for 30 years, boy. Right, speak to um, Autumn about the Witching Woods. Whoa, uh, Kelly. No more nonsensical stuff for you, boy. Um, and then we're just going to keep on. <laughs> Sorry. But that is a landmark decision. Um, so just keep spamming through. Again, all the dialogue options here do not matter. So you can just spam through and slap out whichever one you want. So good, boy. Okay. Look at us dance, I like the little, even though we are literally 2 hours 20 in, the little dance and the little run still brings a joy to this old man's black soul and heart. Right, from here, let's jump, let's do the death defying Assassin's Creed leap jump death of life. And we're all good. We've now got a bridge that we can cross. 
Oh, in fact, no, this bridge was always here. Ignore me, sorry. That bridge was always there. So we can head up. Basically, you'll see where we are now. Um, we're just cut close by to the shops once again. We're actually going to Maya's treehouse. So again, just make sure that Maya is there. If not, whatever you do, go and find Maya. So what we need to do now to basically more or less end the game, but we'll still have a couple of things to do after, but to end the main game, as it were, we've just got to get magic off people. Now, remember, remember I said about the glitch earlier, about the Owl Club and the three girls being trapped down by the Snowbell, just close to the cutie city when we got through there with the cats earlier? Obviously, if they're still there, you need to just go down and um, do the quest with that. But with Maya, that's why we've got Piggles with us. We can now give um, Piggles to Maya. In fact, no, we can't. We can just send him to the cafe. So, maybe I'm thinking we didn't need to bring him with us because he was already at the cafe. Still, whichever way you do it, um, Maya should be happy that there is a pig in your cafe. I'll tell you what, if there was any pig in the cafe, it would be me eating everything and being a general fat ass. But, but I'm a cute pig, so that's fine. Right, so here we go, over to Estelle's shop. We are going to speak to Estelio Bumperaggio. Magic Mousy? And there we go, that's... Uh, apparently that's, that's all it takes. So Estelle is a very easily pleased woman, which a lot of men will... <laughs> A lot of simps will enjoy. Easily pleased? Please have my 500 pounds. I will watch you on OnlyFans all day long instead of watching it for free. Uh, right, go ahead and talk to Ash, Magic Mousy, and that will be yet another one. By the way, it's just a joke. Please don't get offended. It's not a dig at anyone on OnlyFans, okay? Just relax. Relax, old rancho buddies. So we're going to head all the way down, smash your horse's legs to bits by jumping all the way down to Cutie City right here. And we're going to speak to Zin. Now, I don't know why, but Zin's clothes are just super cool. I don't know why I like that spotty little strawberry skirt. I might grab one for myself. Um, you know, for a Saturday night. <clears throat> Sorry, wrong video. Right, speak to Lee anyway. I mean, these people should always be in the same area. They, don't, they didn't really tend to run off in my game. So, speak to Lee, and uh, that basically ends the quest when you say, I did the thing, we got everything, and we're all good. Try and go into the house, in the house that you can't actually get into, of course, apparently. And then we're just going to head back up, and up. That's how good our horse is, by the way. You can climb up literally side buildings. And we just need to go, you know what? Ooh, is it, is it going to be easier to just go back to the cafe? Yes, it is. Yes, so go back to the cafe. Uh, saves, your, saves your horse's little legs running up after you just shattered them the bits anyway. So turn left. We're going back up to the Snowbella Mountains. And basically what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and speak to Lumi. Of course, you can see it on the right on your Quest D-pad. So remember at the crossroads here, we're going to be going left. Nope, that's straight. We'll try again. Is it? Go left. I mean, you should know where Lumi is by now. So as soon as you get to the top... Just uh, do a big U-turn, go up the massive mountain, just speak to Lumi, and then we can transport ourselves back to El Cafferoni. So that one is all done. Now what we've got to do is just move the cat and basically the credits are going to start rolling. So go in towards the cafe. It's basically where the cat used to be sleeping. So around the back of the cafe, jump down here. And if we just head straight through these bits of woods with a big sort of mountain on the right, jump down and we're going to see the cat. To get the cat out of the way, we should have the mouse toy in our inventory. There it is. So just press the left bumper to use the toy, so press the A button to get the mouse up, press the left bumper to use the toy, obviously to get into it, you obviously press the right bumper when you go into your inventory, walk up to it with your mouse toy, and credits are going to start rolling. Again, a glitch may occur, now, occur, 
Oh, how posh am I, hmm? So what should happen is what's happening now. The cat will start walking off, and we're going to end up next to Rosa, or Rose, whatever her name is. There may be a glitch where the cat will just stay there. Um, so I will sort of... I'll have a look at the map anyway when we get on... Uh, when basically the credits roll, we'll have a look at the map just to see where she is. Um, but again, like I said, that was a glitch before they updated the game big time, sorted it all out, so you should be fine. Anyway, credits are going to roll for a couple of minutes, so enjoy L Music, which you won't in my video because I'm scared of being copyrighted and being called a bad guy. So have a look which ones we've get. Uh, we've got. It's basically now just for completing the rest of the animals, completing the quests, etc. So, cat drops us down. We're gonna speak to Rosa, and at the minute you're gonna just smash through all of the dialogue. So, smashy, smashy. <laughs> Oh my god, we got the broom! Yeah! <laughs> we are broomed up, people! So, speak to Rosa, just ask if she needs anything, because of course we're going to be doing the, the first, uh, last few quests for Rosa. Um, but yes, we've got the broom, so, sorry Horsey, you were a great companion, but you and your... Uh, well, gonorrhea looking butt right there can just, just nip off. We're all good now. We've got the broom, so we can broom on that. Now, there's no special way, you just press up to fly up, up on the left stick. Um, and yeah, obviously if you want to go slower, you can press the right bumper there to change your speed if you're wanting. Um, but uh, yeah, this is going to make things a hell of a lot quicker. So, what we're going to do is just go ahead and head to Maya Kiva's house. So from here, if she is at her house... Um, you can see Autumn's big potion shop in the background. Now, it'll, it would be best to use that as a sort of reference point. Um, so when you get here, you can obviously, so you, hopefully you'll be able to start telling where you are a bit more. Um, but again, if it's easier, you can just use the broom and just uh, stay, stay on the paths if you so wish. Uh, if you want to, just to make that a little bit easier for you. If not, we're going to speak to Maya Kiva right here. She is going to go, yep, yeah, we're all good, bro. Um, have some more five grand, tidy, plus a which way achievement. So, well, which way? Which way's the bitch, man? It's that way! But you can't see me right now, I'm tensing my biceps, so it doesn't actually work. So, we will get the social butterfly achievement as well, um, as long as you've gone up on your D-pad and gone onto the townsfolk people. That's how you get that achievement to unlock, so press up on the D-pad, press left, I'm going to go to the left, uh, over to the townsfolk. And you will get the social butterfly achievement. That's for speaking to everyone. So now we're going up towards Autumn's shop. There we are. Uh, if you can't get down, just simply press the white button to jump off and shatter your own bloody ankles. Eh! <laughs> My god! We are actually getting another achievement right now. So, um, what we need to do then is just grab this bird. If Autumn is at your shop or at your cafe, that's great because we've already got a black bird in there. Ow, my elbow. Sorry about that. Um, if not, we're just going to drag drag the bird wherever she is. Choose the Rose Created Flying Magic option. And then, what we're going to do, she's basically giving us a potion. So, we need to go into our inventory again. Wait a 
need to go with your inventory. Come in. There we go. So you can drop it. I don't think it makes a difference, but you just need to, to use the big small potion on the bird. Mm, that's the one, boy. Big small. That's going to go waha. Go massive straight in Autumn's face. But we are going to get the take flight achievement as well. So all's well that ends well, right, Autumn? Sorry I just made your um, bird big, but you know, you're literally uh, one of those people. So uh, just speak to Autumn one more time to say big bird and basically end her quest. Very easy to miss, <laughs> miss out on that. Very easy to miss out on finishing quest because you have to speak to him one more time and choose one more dialogue option. So uh, make sure to choose that dialogue option with Autumn and then we can use the magic broom. We're going to start flying. And we're going to grab a couple of new animals. So, best thing to do, um, right by your cafe, here is the entrance to the Witching Woods. Um, which, obviously, the cat is now out of the way. So, obviously, if the cat glitched out for you, you just go straight from there. And, um, yeah, you can pretty much just find uh, Rosa. But here's the Witching Woods. So, it's literally just to the right, just to the left, sorry, of where Autumn's Potion Shop is. The cafe is just above Autumn's Potion Shop, so that is the entrance of what we're needing, where we are right now. Next to the old magic mushrooms. No such thing as witchcraft, it's all magic mushrooms. But what we're going to do, <laughs> um, we're just going to follow the path, and there's going to be a cat immediately right here. So we're going to pick up, this is Tiny the Cat. You do, little fluff ball. I'm allergic to you, so you can piss off. But anyway, pick him up, pick him down. Go ever so, uh, go, go straight, keep st uh, staying on the path until you find this little inverted cat thing in a bowl. Uh, literally, there is this chunky boy as well, so we're going to pick him up as well. So that's be three animals that you picked up now in the Witching Woods area. Mount your broom again, mounty mounty. Go straight, and we're going to see there is a little cat once again, just by this mushroom, it's just by Big Cat and Rosa's house. So that'll be the fourth animal in Witching Woods. Now from here, who are you? So we're going to stay on the path. And we're going to go left now. And then there's going to be a big roly-poly fat boy. Ooh, the chunky wonky. Does you, man? Does you? So there we go. We're going to pick up this uh, huge roly-poly fluff ball. Immediately to the left, over the other side of the path, is a black cat. Now we're going to pick him up to get him to count in towards our little uh, notepad. Then what we're going to do is go into our inventory and use the Night Knight Potion. Nighty Night Potion. The reason we need to do this, we need to go back into our inventory, go over to toys, and then use the toy on a string. There it is, toy on string. Uh, press the left bumper there to use the toy, and that will actually end one of the quests. So very easily missable, that one. Very easy to miss, but that will actually end one of the quests. Now, of course... It is very dark, so what I will do is, and that is why I bought the uh, good morning potion as well. So everything's nice, shiny, bright, and happy days. Oh, happy days. When G burst woke, dear, up to the liquor shop to get some booze, because he kept getting bullied by all of the Jews. So anyway, from there, we can just go straight to Rose's house, which was just to the right. Uh, yes, we did find the cat, didn't we? Hmm, so that will end one of Rose's quests, and we're going to ask her if she needs anything again. Of course I'd like to help Rosa. What do you think I'll be doing for every other bugger on this island, huh? Yeah, yes. Right, anyway, we are going to mount the broom again, and this time we are going to head toward Daisy's house then. So, oh, as you can see, Oliver's just gone into a cafe now. So again, if he's gone into a cafe at any point... See if the little trick still works, where he doesn't leave the cafe every time you go to sleep. So, you can see he's bought something. So now, I would get over to the cafe, go to sleep, have a look at the recipe, go to sleep, have a look and see if there's any recipes. Because, again, I'm not sure if that little trick still works. If it doesn't, that's fine. You'll find him and fly to him later on anyway. But, uh, always worth it. it always be nice, innit? If, um, a little trick... Which went in a good way for us work this time. But what we're doing is going to Daisy's house then. All the way at the bottom left hand corner of the map. So the only thing I can suggest is just keep looking on your map. Even though you're only um, going in a straight line. It's very easy to miss your bearings and have no idea where you're going. So just keep checking the map until we go and speak to Big Daisy the Ravy Boy.
Right, since here we are, now we're going to say, Daisy, I need to speak to you about something. The test came back positive. You have six days to live. South, you're going to be rabbit meat now. Anyway, so when we've spoken to Daisy, we're all good. Now from Daisy, where we're going to head is turning around and going all the way back to the top left corner of the map to Rosa. So again, just follow the path. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues really, but again, use the D-pad map if you get stuck or use just the regular map. Um, but we should pretty much make it there we are. So it is basically in a straight line. So speak to Rosa once again. I did the thing. Happy days. Job done. Using a cauldron is very emotional. Mate, I tell you what, you say one wrong word and the whole world gets emotional these days. You say you're not a big fan of the wiener? Oh, Jesus Christ, I tell you what, you get, you get literally bummed, ironically, from people who hate you because, well, you know, everyone knows how offended people get these days. Uh, anyway, go to where the fat roly-poly is. We're going to grab another couple of animals into this little waterfall, lovely little section right here. Um, there we are, just at the top. So it's pretty much literally just to the right of where Rosa's house was right then. Uh, we're going to pick up the little kitty cat for another one. Pick up a little kitty cat. MySpace. Great, great name. And then from here, what we're going to do is actually go up. We're going to go straight and then to the right. So from here, go right. I end up going to the left and then go in. Apparently, my lefts and rights are... Um, well, they're about as good as, you know, a kick to the old genitalia. But there we go. So we've gone right. We've gone up here. There's going to be a ghost dog. Sometimes he will vanish like so. <laughs> My ghost dog. That's kind of a sad scene, really, isn't it? Somebody's dead dog is playing in the waterfall. How cute. Anyway, pick him up. Give him a spin just to let him know what he was missing. If he was still alive. Um... And then uh, we're pretty much good to go. So we fall straight down the waterfall. Go in between these big chunky boys right here. So we can just go straight down the path. And the reason we're doing that is... Remember at the very beginning of the game. We've seen a big chunky cat that was just sitting on one of these mushroom pads. Or lee or trees or whatever. There he is. So it's going to be a different colour to, to you. It doesn't matter which colour it is. All we need to do is jump down... So sort of get on top of him because trying to get down off a broom is a bit annoying. Jump down, mount the big cat. Now you might have to do a little bit of jumping and pressing Y in just to get up there. Then when that's done, all we're going to do is just ride him for a few seconds on the ground just to make sure that it counts. There we go. So again, just have a look. Now... I went from the bottom to the top, but what, it's at, what it actually is, is in the Heart Village, so... Uh, and we've got two left in Cutie City left to grab. That is all, and in fact we are literally minutes away. But there's the Forest Spirit Cat anyway, the Heart Village. So, the two that we need to do, we need to get on top of our broom, because there was one uh, which was a cat, which was on top of a building which we couldn't get up. And we can't get the other one until we finish the final quest anyway. Jump! Jump free, Willy! Jump, Smurfette! Oh, the Smurfettes wanted to take the poison bears. Right, so, where are we going to head? I think we should head to Cutie City next, don't you? Man, fantastic idea. So that is exactly where we are going to head. So, from here... Of course, you may obviously not be in exactly the same spot that I am, and if that is the case, you know, just head towards Cutie City. It'll be easier to fly up and have a look. So get straight up in the sky, make sure you're going in the uh, right direction, which is of course the Cutie City direction. And on top of this big, tall, purple building, I think it's purple, you can see the animals straight away. There it is. Yeah. Whoa. Oh man, I would suck at being a Harry Potter thing. Oh, sorry, just absolutely smashed it. I did try chucking, chucking them off a building because I am I'm a bit, well, I'm a bit of a nasty guy, I'm so sorry. Oh, he nearly fell off himself. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, anyway, so from here, what we're going to do then, we are going to speak to Zinnigan. See if we can get up. Up we go, there we go. So we're going to go ahead, speak to Jin. There she is. Now, for some reason, the achievement then for uh, the final quest didn't appear for ages. So, um... Oh, no, crap, sorry, we've still got this one to do, haven't we? We've still got four minutes left yet. So, 
For when we speak to Zin, where we need to go is once again back to Rosa's house. So fly across all the way to the other side of the map and get to Rosa's house. You can see Autumn's potion on the left, so you know you're going in the right direction. Speak to Rosa again, and then when you fly back and speak to Jin again, that is the end of all the quests, and we should get our final animal as well. Thank God. Again, in fact, it would have just been easier if you went into debt. You got 25 grand. You can literally buy everyone a, a cheeky mobile phone. Because I ain't doing this again, brah. Right? So anyway, speak to Rosa, and then we need to go back to Jin to end all the quests and basically complete the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh gosh, hi! Right, so there we go, under your hats. That's annoying, right? So again, if you do have the recipe achievement still left, of course you've got the broom, so just do the trick of going to sleep, having a look at Estelle and Oliver's inventory, as I said plenty of times in the video, you're probably sick to death of me talking about it by now, uh, and then just go until you've got all the recipes. Go to the... In fact, you've got to pick up the... Um, little ferret thing right here, Mr. Snuggles, and that will be the final animal, but of course to get the achievement, put him down, go on, throw him, open up your uh, animal sort of inventory type thing, and that will be that one, but again, for some reason, for whatever particular reason, I decided to forget that when you <laughs> press up on the d-pad and then go right, to go over to the quest, that is when the achievement will appear. Now, I was waiting around for literally five minutes, and I thought it was glitched out, but go over to the quest tab, and as long as everyone's got three love hearts by them, that will be that. So, there we go then, guys and gals. A good long game, very decent, very fun and cutesy. But what do you think of that one? I hope you've enjoyed the game. I do hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well as a purr. A uh, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and all my new Patreonages. Honestly, I am humbled by it, so thank you so, so much. You guys and gals are legends. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye bye, big love.